Hi chat room, how are you doing today? It's a Tuesday and we're going to be playing Tyranny. That's right, if you heard about it, it's actually coming out on the 10th, but we got it early today. Thank you, game devs. Isn't that nice? Are you guys excited? I love this music. I already feel like the hero of my own journey. Um, so a little, a little fun stuff that we got going on on top of the game today. Um, $10, you can rename the NPC to whatever you want, please don't be offensive. And $25, you can give me, um, voice direction, like an accent or something for the character. So that's what we're doing today as we play Tyranny. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm excited to become a fate vendor. Hey, Valerie, just reset for the last seven months. Thank you, Thumper Pride. Thank you so much. As always, all the following and subscribing and tips and bits are super appreciated and we wouldn't be able to run this channel without you guys, so thank you. Oh, all right, you guys are talking about Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange, I saw that movie, it was pretty good. You know what I also saw was The Handmaiden with Strix, it was also very good. Um, new game settings, normal difficulty requires strategy and efficiency, but forgives a few mistakes in combat. Companion combat AI is enabled by default. Okay, I'm just gonna accept the default. Wow, this is cool. You guys seeing this? It is, it is very pretty. Very nice use of contrasting colors. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Oh For goodness. over 400 years, the armies of Kairos the Overlord have swept across the known world. What? The Overlord? All who stood against them fell before their might. Oh no! Even the Archons, women and men of immense power, were forced to kneel, chained to the Overlord's will. Oh my goodness. Sounds now like Kairos an Overlord I final know. Conquest has come to our corner of the world. Oh no! Our corner! And two of the Overlord's armies compete for the honor of taking our land. No! The elite disfavored. Disfavored? And the teeming horde of the Scarlet Chorus. Scarlet Chorus? The voices of Narad, Spymaster and Archon of Secrets, guides the fierce and undisciplined masses of the Scarlet Chorus. Okay. With each battle, the Scarlet Chorus grows stronger as the defeated are given a simple choice. Serve, Serve or, die. or die. Grave and Ash, Archon of War and the Overlord's most loyal general, leads the disfavor. Oh my goodness. Though small in number, Kairos's ironclad legion has never met true defeat in open battle. Oh my goodness. Watching over the two generals is Tunam, the Tunam. adjudicator. Archon of Justice. Eldest of Kairos's minions. Man, look at that neck. Tunon brings Kairos. When Kairos's armies came to I'll name the first character after Hillary Clinton. How could we have known? I don't know if I could do her voice. Would rest in your hands. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. Is that gonna be your main character? Um, it was a request oh. for a very badass character. Hey, mm. maybe we could. Na how about we name the player character Hillary? Hillary. Might well, yeah, right? might as well, right? Okay. Maybe you should become our new overlord. All right. Um, you want to just keep with the default? This is cool. Let's look at the other ones. This is cool too. All right. Whoa. Hello. Just taking a look around here. Stop speaking two sentences at once, friend computer. Oh yeah, um... Uh, you know what, I really like the default character, I'm just gonna go with that. Um, I'm sorry, today the chat room is a lot smaller than I'm used to, and my eyes are getting worse, but I'm, I'm gonna try to be just as engaged. Um... All right, in northern in Northern Empire, where you were born, women enjoy equal protections under the laws of Overlord Kairos. In the southern lands of the T wait a second, are we playing the bad guys? Are we bad people? This is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, women may crew a ship, but only men may own a ca or captain a vessel. Psst, that's not a free world. 
While these customs give the oceans to the men, the lands are trusted to the women. Men may rent and lease, but only women may own land and bequeath it to their daughters and sisters. That was what I'm talking about. Hey! Thank you for that. I guess it's a test follow, but thank you HyperRPG for following us at this channel. While following a parent's profession is standard, many women choose to pledge service to one of the overlord's powerful archons. Those without a viable trade or lands to call their own are often drafted into the armies of the archons, where it is assumed they will rise to glory or, van or vanish in obscurity in accordance with the Hey, I'm a leaf in the wind. Thank you for the bits. Thank you so much. That is super appreciated. Very cool. And I love your username. Hey, that's cool. Look at that. Dude, does this look like Lauren to you? I think so. And that looks like Erica, if you guys know who I'm talking about. But just some hosts on our channel. What do you guys think, huh? These are all really cool portraits, though. Hey, this is Cashew. Thanks for the bits. Thank you so much. Now, actually, I think that looks a lot like Erica. Just me? No? Am I, I'm just seeing my friends in the games. All right, um, yeah, let's go I go with the default. Is that it? Oh my goodness, look, there's actually a lot of character portraits. Cool. Hey, oh, Relda- Reldal? Thank you, thank you for the bits. I hope I didn't butcher up your username. All right. How did you join Kairos Army? Pit fighter, hunter, guild apprentice, noble scion, soldier, lawbreaker. That sounds fun. War mage or diplomat? Well, if this character is going to be Hillary, diplomat seems appropriate, right? Hey, Walder, thanks for the bits. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. That is a full cup. Look at there. Just stacking higher and higher. Thank you for keeping that cup full. Thank you so much. And thank you for helping support Hyper RPG. All right, though they never tell you why, Kairos bestowed great wealth upon your family for some unmentioned service, and your parents used this wealth to have you raised far from home. Your childhood was a nomadic tour of Teratus, which hired tutors and fleeting friendships. Hey, thank you, HyperRPG. Thank you for following our channel again. Oh, I'm a leaf in the wind. Oh my gosh, just keeping that cup full. Oh my goodness. It exploded! Boom! Thank you very much. I'm a leaf in the wind. Clearing out that cup and filling it up back again. Uh, a, careless world, a, a careless word in a far-flung city landed you in legal trouble, and you were taken before Tunon, the adjudicator. Adjudicator? Sometimes I not get the emphasis wrong. Right and made to stand trial not only did you plead your innocence but you turned the accusations around on the accuser for wasting the court's time and the arcan of justice concurred amused by your wit wisdom and adaptability tunan claimed you as his newest enforcer hmm all right yeah i see in the chat room some people are asking we got this game early isn't that cool so go thank them obsidian and paradox um, Paradox Interactive. Primary expertise is one of Tunan's fate binders. You received training in the arts of war, the intrigue of magic, and the inexhaustible depths of Kairos law. Across the Northern Empire, the education of fate binder is second to none. Those very- Hey, Mrs. Cashew! Oh my goodness! You guys are just- Ah, oh, nice! Nice! You just, just one bit raises the sea of bits. Hey, and Roll Doll! Boom! Some bouncy bits. Across the Northern Empire, the education of a fate binder is second to none. Those bearing the title are expected to read instructions and understand the economies of the realm in which they operate. Literacy and mathematics. Reading, writing, and arithmetic, right guys? Skills rarely found in Teratus are essential skills in the execution of law. Subtler talents like speechcraft or tactics are honed with time and experience under Tunan's guidance. All right, you are trained in the following combat side. All right, guys, I have a question for you, our character now, Hillary C. Um, Hillary R.C. Um, what combat style should we choose? Can you just put that in the chat room? Uh, we got sword and shield, 
great sword, short bow, shock spells. I wonder what that is. Maybe like that character um, uh, on uh, which we call it the Mar Marvel Heroes. Um, bigger spells, javelin, dual wielding, unarmed attacks. Frost spells or atrophy spells? Yeah, they also made Fallout New Vegas. They've made, um, actually I have a question in the chat room. Has anybody played Pillars of Eternity? Because this is kind of like the game before this game. It's not a sequel, but they apparently they learned a lot from, um, making Pillars of Eternity and they got better and they put it into this game. Frost spells? Shock spells? Yeah? I'm... I'm kind of leaning towards frost spells because Hillary and being cold, I don't know. Not saying I don't like her. I think she's just a very cool lady, you know what I mean? Alright, uh, let's see. Two, three votes for shock spells. One vote for frost spells. Whatever you want, javelin or vigor spells. Atrophy spells, mostly because I'm probably going to go with shock myself. Alright, alright, sure. Atrophy is debuff spells. Vigor is buffing and healing. Um, PWJB says, Pillars was really good. That's why I was looking forward to this as well. Yeah, I've heard really wonderful things. I actually haven't played Pillars of Eternity, but um, I'm hearing a lot of wonderful stuff already. All right. Um, so it says we have a vote. Vote 9, 10. All right. I guess we have a little a little poll going on. Thank you, mods, uh, for everything that you do and setting up that poll. All right. I'm gonna take a little sip of water here. Uh, Aranax, thanks for filling up our bit cup, and in honor of that, I have emptied my water cup. Hydration is key, guys. Hydration is key. Hey, orange kid! Oh my goodness! 500 bits! Oh my goodness. Alright, who won the vote? Who won the vote? So, be prepared to make a second poll, mods. Alright. Did we have a, uh, a result from that? Hey, Mal! Greater than underscore greater than. I like that. It's like me. Uh, with the bomb. Okay, so who is our winner? Closing in 30 seconds. All right, cool. Biomare made Kotor 1, if I remember correctly. I don't remember who made that. Okay, winner. Shock spells it is. Boom! I have learned this ability. Wow! My clothes changed and everything. Check it out. Mage is skilled in shock magic. This is a shocking mage diplomat. Skilled in shock magic can frequently interrupt their enemies, preventing them from executing their attacks. It's like, uh, you gonna interrupt me? No, I'm gonna interrupt you. Alright. Right click for details. Okay. Um. I don't know what I'm supposed to right click. Oh. You're okay. Determines effective. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so uh, secondary. So um, shock spells one, and then I think frost spells was second. So I'm gonna do frost spells as the secondary. Uh, is a is an offensive school that focuses on slow slowing enemies as well as dealing cold damage. So it sounds like you would definitely want to like slow them down and then shock them if I'm not correct all right cool hey banner customization I feel like if there's a rabbit I would go for it hyper RPG thumper how about how about this paw is that cool rabbits don't have well they have thumbs sort of they're kind of high up all right character colors let's go with um you know, like hyper RPG colors or something. How do you how do you feel about that? Are the other way around? No, I, I like this. Actually, ooh. It's pretty cool, right? Alright. Uh next. Alright, here we go. Alright, now we have our character. Oh, attributes! Guys, alright, how should we do this? I feel like 
Um, we don't necessarily have more quickness, but we should, I think she should have a lot of wits. Do you guys agree? All right. Um, some finesse. Definitely might. How, how do you guys feel about that? Might determines the physical strength of a character. Increased might leads to more powerful attacks and stronger abilities. All right, quickness. Yeah, yeah, sure. How do you guys feel? Is that good? All right, cool. Other than that, besides the name, because that was a donation, um, let's not talk too much politics because I admit I have also got, given myself a huge kind of headache with everything that has happened so far. Okay, cool. Um, oh, I have 20 points for this. Guys, this is a deep game. All right, um, I guess I should put them in my magic staff because I'm gonna do magic, right? Can I just put them all in my magic staff? Like, I'm just gonna have a really powerful staff and nothing else. My is a bit unnecessary for a mage? I don't know. I have a, a, a problem with dropping weapons. More resolve? All right, okay. Uh, some people were saying more resolve. Okay, all right. How about that? Is that good? Cool. Magic staff and magic skills. Right? Okay, cool. How do you want to continue? Conquest or quick start? Um, I'm gonna go quick start, because let's I wanna jump into the action. We'll bypass the conquest phase of character creation. You will select from a list of available templates for how your character will be evolved in Kairos Conquest of the Tears. This will affect the starting state of the game. Ooh. Ooh, what are we in for? Scarlet Chorus Path, Disfavored Path, Neutral Path. Hmm. I'm... You're not skipping uh, the conquest, are you? Yeah. You should not. Okay. Um, I played through it earlier today, and it's actually a really cool part of this game. Sure. Uh, I'll sorry, do it. not to. Okay. Not to I have no idea. I've you. just been like clicking through menus for the mm -hmm. last like twenty minutes, so I just wanted yeah. to. This, this is like a whole level almost, and it's of itself about storytelling and world building that you get to be a part of. Sounds good to me. The rest of the campaign. Sure. Sure. All right. Wow. Hard sell by Rai Rai. Fallen to Kairos. And now the Overlord's eye is on the Tears, our home. The last corner of the world free of Kairos's reign. Two armies, the Disfavored and the Scarlet Chorus, march south from the Northern Empire, the last realm to fall to Kairos a century I prior. Want this art. Do you guys In you the early this? days of 428, Kairos's armies arrive at the Gates of Judgment. The mountainous border that we tearsmen so long believed unassailable. Unable to agree on a unified plan of defense, the various uh -oh. leaders of the tears sit and wait for each uh -oh. other to deal with the conquerors. Joe Trippin, am I the only one that hears late. that? I don't know. Just a reminder, guys, every five subscribers we have to this channel, we give away a Steam key to a random active member in the chat room. Yep. And every 50 followers to our channel, we also give away a Steam key. During the conquest, you will decide your character's actions during Kairos' invasion of the Tears, shaping the world through which you will adventure over the course of the game. Each choice you make affects your character and how major factions of the Tears respond to you. Your decisions matter. Choose wisely. Ooh. Alright. Hey! 428TR, year one of- dude, this guy's like, you know, got his own calendar. That's pretty epic. The Bastard City. Alright guys, we're going to Bastard City! Uh, the city was a nexus of commerce. To the tears, it was the center of all wealth. To a northerner, it was little more than a backwater trading post. Its symbolic status as a gateway to the continent made it a natural first target in Kairos military conquest. Circumstances were ideal for you to prove your worth as a soldier in Kairos armies. Taking the city will send a message to the rest of the tiers. Kairos will is insurmountable. I, I feel like I also have to live up to the bargain that I have to speak with Hillary's voice, but I, uh, I need some, uh, some pointers for that. I know she does kind of speak 
more confidently and clearly, so I can do that too, if you would. All right. Select a, a token. All right. Uh, whoa! Gates of Judgment. Infiltrate the tears. All right. Uh, I like this Gates of Judgment. The armies of Kairos took the battle to the Gates of Judgment, trumpeting the open call of the conquest. The two armies brought their distinctive set of orders. Okay. Join battle alongside Scarlet Chorus or Disfavored. All right, guys, I have a question. Can we do a quick poll in the chat room? Do you want me to go with Scarlet Chorus? That's option number one. Or Disfavored, option number two. Please. Keep a creepy smile on your face at all times and you'll do... S oh yeah, she does? She smiles like this. A little. I don't know why. My face isn't like that, but I'll just... She kind of does this when she scans the crowd, like, a little bit. I think it's a trained, like, politician thing. You can only do one of these at a time. You have to choose between the situations. Yep. Um... Just speak like a boss, Malika, and you'll be fine. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Alright, thank you for starting the poll in the chat room, and we will go. Vote one. It sounds like Scarlet Chorus. It sounds really cool. Alright. Um, I'm gonna go with the Gates of Judgment and join the battle alongside the Scarlet Chorus. Seems like that's what everybody's voting for. Alright. You caught the mercenary army unprepared for the mania and disorder of the Scarlet Chorus. Your forces overwhelmed the tier's defenses in a few short hours, hacking and burning their way into the continent. Any mercenaries who survived the battle found themselves initiated into the Scarlet Chorus. And Denoya, thank you. Thank you for the bits. Oh my goodness! Oh, it missed the cup. Try again. Um, any mercenaries who survived the battle found themselves initiated into the Scarlet Chorus, tortured by ruthless interrogators, or made the sport of competition as the army marched ruthlessly forward. Whoa! Hey! Oh no! What's next? Um, you found a way to feed Kairos armies in enemy territory, or to judge the enemy. You decide the fate of enemy soldiers captured in battle. Oh! Oh my goodness! Just one... Just one bit left in the cup. Um, this is a Malika thing to do. I'm gonna pick feeding the host. Against the most optimistic projections, hey, uh, the disfavored and scarlet chorus made short work of the local defenses. They did so well that the armies quickly outpaced their supply caravan. Troops were plentiful, but food was scarce. You had only time to execute one plan to secure the provisions. So I'm just, I'm just gonna feed the scarlet chorus over here. They seem hungry, you know, they sing a lot. Uh, you authorize the Scarlet Chorus to send their horde out to pillage from farms and villages. Spreading the infamy of Kairos army prepared the tears for the reality of the pending conquest. How do you guys feel about playing the bad guy? It's very interesting. I'm already like, wait a second. You tortured people through interrogation and now you're pillaging food from farmers. I feel like a little intrigued but gross already. How do you guys feel, huh? Only too pleased to follow this particular order, the Scarlet Chorus divided up the outlying farms and villages among their gangs and set out to collect provisions. Though they returned with wagons laden with supplies, the terror and destruction sowed in their path boosted morale and ensured that everyone from the bastard city to Stalwart knew their name. Whoa! Oh no! Taking the Bastard City, the armies of Kairos amassed around the Bastard City, the first bastion of the Tears to fall. Both armies longed to storm the walled outposts, the Scarlet Chorus howling for plunder and their disfavored, forming an unbreakable shield wall. Do you feel like the Scarlet Chorus and um, the disfavored are like, um, what do you call it, um, Spartans and Athenians, it, kind of, right? Um, I've been waiting years for an RPG like this. Yeah, um, they've been working for a long time on this game. Uh, your, po your progress on the field of battle had carried them this far, but there was one more step before total victory. Both the armies had inspired schemes to take the bastard city. Which do you support? Um, assault on the main gates? Burn the city? Sabotage? 
No, let's burn the city, guys. City. Um, well, well, considering the armies you can support are either the Reavers from Firefly or Imperial Stormtroopers, that's true. Yeah. It was passing strange to barricade the very gates you sought to cross, but it all made sense when the fires began. The Scarlet Corps sent a constant rain of flaming arrows over the walls of the Bastard City, a plague that lasted through long days and tireless nights. By the end, the blaze was too much for the city defenders to contain. Citizens crowded at the gates, pleading to be freed from their smoldering city. This is horrible, guys. We voted for this. Or, I did. I'm sorry. Um, you and your army were happy to oblige them. When the gates opened, they opened from inside. I mean, it is called tyranny. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Oh, no! Look! Poor bastard city! You had no father, and now you have no towers. Um... Settle into a new state of normalcy with every tower displaying Kairos banner. Okay, that's cool. With tyranny comes normalcy. Your name was whispered alongside rumors of a decorated career to come. The armies divided into two friends and migrated south. Tunan sent word that you were to join the next frontier of Kairos conquest, either as a judge, an overseer of the settlement of Lethian's Crossing, or as a war advisor with the armies advancing to the realm of Apex. You may choose one of these locations. So, you can either be a war advisor at Apex, or you are a, um, uh, judge in Lethian's Crossing. Where do we want to go? I admit it, Rai Rai was right, this mode is worth it. Yeah, it's very, very interesting and deep. The Scarlet Chorus do eat people on occasion, so cooking beforehand just plays into their favor. That's true! That's, it was good that we uh, set the f city on fire. Um, see? Judge and Executioner. <laughs> Malika is Judge Dread. Do you guys, guys want to go with the Judge or the um, War Overseer? Yeah? Judge? Okay. I'm I'm actually interested. I was I, I I wonder why you guys think I would be fun as a judge, but okay. Um Boom. Year two of Kairos Conquest. Ooh. Year two of the tyranny. Year two of the tyrant. What sort of game is this? Um, a uh, isometric, um, what do you call that genre of game? Like RPG, I guess? Yeah, isometric RPG, exactly. Lethian's Crossing. Years ago, Lethian the Bold founded a small merchant town at the intersection of ancient old walls. A pact between the settlers and a mercenary company meant that caravans were able to travel without fear of bandits or bane, and the town thrived in, modi in modest insignificance. Lethian's crossing drew Kairos' attention for the iron deposits in the surrounding hills. With the region under Kairos' control, the northern smith mages could set up workshops or refined ore and disarm the disfavored with the finest weapons in the known world. Well, wow. That's pretty cool. Okay, what are our options here? The iron must flow. You found a clever solution to improve production of iron weapons and armor. Or... The Cult of Siren, the Archon of Song's power, and snare the mind of a disfavored soldier. Ooh. I don't know. That's... I, As clever as I feel, I feel like the Cult of Siren is more interesting. Yeah? You want to do that? You want to do that? Let's, let's go. Let's go. Yes. Um, Siren, Archon of Song, used her arcane charm to lure locals into join, joining Kairos' army as a patroness of the Scarlet Chorus. Her efforts were critical to the conscri conscription of new recruits when an enthralled, disfavored soldier joined her cult. His company feared that the Archon was growing out of control and needed to be stopped. Um, send Siren's cult to be the vanguard or destroy Siren's cult. Oh, well, I think we're just going to destroy. Why not? We already stole food from farmers. We set the city of Bastard aflame. Let's just destroy a cult. The disfavored demanded that the Archon of Song cease her recruitment practices and that they be allowed to violently subdue her cult of followers. The loss of soldiers was a significant setback to the Scarlet Chorus conscription efforts. All right. I guess a lot of us died, but that's okay. 
will just make more people join us. In response to your ruling, the Arcane of Song departed your company in bitter silence, but not before releasing her arcane hold over the latest batch of recruits. The disfavored remained obstinate when the dispersal of her cult continued as planned, hunting down the confused or memory-stricken innocents. They put to death those who they couldn't beat into obedience. The Scarlet Corliss barely restrained themselves from the indignity which proved a major setback to the army's strength in numbers. You earn one carrots every minute here. Check your carrots by visiting. Yes, that's true. That is a, a new system that we have just started. Oh my goodness. Okay, what happened? Ah, some stuff fell. Okay, so that's not an option anymore. Okay. Um, also, just a reminder, guys. Every five subscribers, we give away a Steam key to an active member of the chat room. And we're doing a little fun thing today. $10 to rename an NPC and $25 to give me an accent or some voice direction. You can turn around and build a resistance movie. You can go with the flow or master your own power. Hmm. Uh, ancient threats. Who protected the city from the attacks of arcane predators? Or a red anvil. The forge-bound mage swore allegiance to the Scar Scarlet Chorus, creating strife between- Oh! Yeah. Of course I want some people to swear allegiance to the Scarlet Chorus. This is gonna be great. One of Cairo Smith mages wore, swore allegiance to the Scarlet Chorus, jealously hoarding the secret of iron forging. The disfavored demanded the Smith's immediate return. The Scarlet Chorus insisted that they were within their rights to take allegiance from any source. Tempers flared and the forges cooled as arguments stalled productivity. So we could enslave the renegade mage or erase his mind. Hmm. Um. Uh... I'm gonna enslave him because I want to use him. That sounds like something I would do. Hey, Miles, thank you for following us at HyperRPG. We are a hyperactive, interactive, community-driven channel built by you guys for you guys. And every 50 followers to this channel, we give away a Steam key to an active member in the chat room. So thank you so much for following. Um, since the Smith Mage would not willing return to work, you enlisted this favor to return him there in chains. Oh man, that's rough. I'm sorry. Not. The disfavored correctly argued that iron production was too vital to the conquest and no interruption could be tolerated. Drawing from Kairos law, you ruled that one bound to the forge had no right to disobey the overlord's will. You sentenced the mage to return to his former duties, this time as a slave, and sternly instructed everyone to get back to work. Sorry, I just, I, I really wanted to do that. Who controlled the crossing? Hey, tech daggers, thank you. <gasps> Oh my goodness, is that gonna make a big explosion? Boom! Thank you, thank you for emptying that cup. Who controlled the crossing? Tragedy struck when a mercenary hired by the voices of Nerat, I don't know, injured a forge-bound artisan, leaving him unstable to practice his craft. Tunan ordered the mercenaries to leave the city in the hands of Kairos' more responsible servants. Only a token garrison could be left behind while the, uh, while the armies returned to the front. As the disfavors and the Scarlet Chorus showed increasing tension and hostility towards each other, Judan decreed it would be best that only one force control the crossing, and it should be me. Uh, I don't know. I feel like the disfavored would be actually better at that, though, because they're a little bit more brute force. What do you guys think? Enslaving mages who can forge weapons seems like a poor long-term strategy. Yeah, but the options were enslaving a mage or wipe his mind. If you wipe his mind, then maybe he doesn't have skills anymore, right? It was just the better of two poisons. Alright, uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, okay. You granted control of Lethian's Crossing to the disfavored. The disfavored placed a modest garrison in the settlement of Lethian's Crossing. Through the forest was larger than might be needed to police the small settlement. Protecting the forge-bound ironsmiths became the true agenda of the defense force, as these magical craftsmen kept the disfavored invasion force suited in iron. Relieved at the departure of the Scarlet Chorus, the citizens of Lethian's Crossing felt they got the least of two burdens. Wow! Well, that shows how this world feels about the two sides. You received word that from Graven's Ash thanking you for your decision. The Forge Bound and their weaponry could not be entrusted to the voices of Narad. Right click for details. Oh, that's cool. 
Alright. What's next? Uh oh. Zooming out on the map. Alright. Big decision time, guys. Big decision time. The disfavored are more organized, so they probably run the place better. Yeah, I, I thought so, too. The Scarlet Chorus are rather crazy, to be fair. But you know what? In my opinion, it's more fun to play Chaotic Evil. What do you guys think? Yeah? Do you all also like Chaotic Evil? I think they are the scariest. Lethian's Crossing, 429. With the mercenaries expelled and Lethian's Crossing under new leadership, Kairos faces congratulating... Kairos forces congratulating themselves in bringing order to the settlement and guaranteeing a productive flow of resources. Over the course of this diversion, the army front advanced further into the tiers. Your skills were needed in the realm of Azur, Stalwart, or the Vellum Citadel. You may choose only one of these locations. Alright. Uh, easily defended position. With rich military tradition, the realm of Stalwart was the most favorable realm in the tiers. Okay. Or the Vellum Citadel. I kind of like the name of this place. Kairos' conquering gaze fell upon the Vellum Citadel. Its treasures, its knowledge, its secrets. Ooh. Monika likes secrets. Or Azur. Kairos dispatches the Arcan of Stone to subjugate the nation of Azur. Nah, this is filled with a bunch of slaves. These are a bunch of people who want to punch each other in the face. Let's go to the Vellum Citadel. Alright. Neutral evil bestie- well, I guess- Yeah, but like, chaotic evil is so, like, scary because it's so unpredictable. I mean, neutral is too because it's like, you know, which way? Um, the Vellum Citadel, but I think- I don't know, I think story-wise, it's more interesting to follow, um, lawful evil because you know, they think that they're right and all that stuff. Um, and you, I usually feel bad for them more where I'm like, chaotic evil, get away, that's crazy. Um, the Vellum Citadel was an archive and a library of massive scale. Its inhabitants were known as the School of Ink. Isn't that cute, guys? Right, let's go to the School of Ink, guys. And Quill, a circle of mages that centuries ago carved out their own mountainous refuge on lands unsettled by the other major realms. Legend said that the Citadel housed a treasure trove of arcane knowledge. The Overlord's spies infiltrated the school and confirmed as much. The time was ripe to send a detachment to the Great Library Fortress and force the scholars to yield to Kairos. This is great. I'm actually really embracing the evil thing right now. Maybe I'm actually a bad person. Okay. Lawful evil the most? Yeah, I like lawful evil in terms of... Like, if I was to read a comic book about, like, a bad character. The Chain of Command, a peaceful surrender turned bloody. Or, Song of Ensnarement, Siren snogged and sared some stealthy sages. Uh, um, this seems more interesting. Song of Ensnarement. Si Siren, the Archon of Song, used her power to enthrall enemy mages who crept beyond the citadel walls. After Kairos force forces rounded up the arcane practitioners, the disfavored began executing new captives before they could share dangerous knowledge, a crime under Kairos law with the Scarlet Chorus. Um, a lawful evil is predictable. It is predictable to screw you royally. Um... Muzzle the mages or punish the disfavored. What? Muzzle the mages? No, 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 no. If we punish the disfavored, yeah, let's let's do that. I feel like the even though the disfavored is more organized, I feel like the Scarlet Chorus is smarter or more conniving, and I don't like them stealing knowledge. You punish the disfavored for executing mages bound to the Scarlet Chorus, ordering the dis that several disfavored soldiers be given to the Arkin of Song as their personal bodyguards. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a very interesting character. I want to meet her. The wisdom of the sages and knowledge of the Vellum Citadel were too important to silence. The disfavored balked at entering the Arkan service, but your ruling left them with no recourse. Arkan Siren delighted in having new toys to play with and promptly enthralled her personal guard. Enthralled or what? You spotted them in camp days later, following their new mistress with wide-eyed devotion. Dude, I want to be this lady. That sounds cool. 
Uh, yeah, this is the background section that Ryan said, please do not uh, skip because it will determine a lot of things in the game. The spy master's agent suspicions arose when Sage and surrendered or right of command. Siren, Siren? Siren. Composed songs of strength and provoked blood. Uh, dude, I want to follow this character. The Arcan of Song uh, incited Scarlet Chorus recruits to fight their leaders. Bosses were killed and supplanted left and right. The disfavored demanded an end to the practice for the good of the conquest. Put an end to the contest? or honor the right of challenge. Guys, let's go with the right of challenge. You ruled that each Archon had the right to govern their armies according to their nature. The right of command bred chaos, but also ensured that the strongest rise to lead. Dude, this is getting me excited. Sorry, I just love chaos. Chaos is a lot of fun to play, I think. Is anybody else in the chat room like me? I know you guys like Lawful Evil, but in terms of when you get to play, what do you what do you like to do? Or are you just neutral? Um, your keen understanding of their ways played and surprised the Scarlet Chorus detachment, who thanked you for the ruling. The following evening, two gang bosses were murdered in their pallets and replaced by stronger variants who fought hard to defend their status. Yes, the chaos is working. Through the camp grew quieter over time. The chorus fought with twice the ferocity under new leadership. Yay! Yay! It reminds me of a deeper dragon age. Oh, dude, I love this piece of art. Look at this, it's like a moon and do halves and lines. It's really nice. The Edict of Fire. Disgusted by your approbation of the Scarlet Chorus, the disfavored forces withdrew from the field of battle. Your small detachment now lacked the manpower to take the Vellum Citadel. No! Shit! Tuna and sent word that Cairo's patience had run thin. The overlord would cast an edict of fire on the enemy. The parchment arrived in a slender case of engraved iron. Written on it, the words of a spell powerful enough to destroy the vellum citadel. So sounds like I don't need you disfavored folk, because I got a spell. You had the magic of when to read the edict. Edict? Edict? Um, reading it at sunrise would offer your enemies no warning of the devastation to come. You also wait until sunset, giving them ample time to flee or make amends. Uh, this chaotic evil Malik is starting to scare me. Um, Captain Talon says, chaotic is, is saved for characters that perform deeds rather than further themselves no matter what the cost is. Um, depending on the game, what I uh, I go what I call chaotic, absent-minded, good, infamous. Tended to be good until I tried to test a new ability, kill a bunch of people, start yelling, the, the few that are alive run off. Cool, cool. The edict, uh, edict of fire. Give one day's warning. Give no warning. Guys, I'm not give no warning. Bam. Opting to give the enemy no quarter. You proclaim the edict of fire as the first moments of dawn, granting the enemy no warning of the destruction to come. Though the chorus insisted your actions doomed their spies, the disfavored applauded your decision. Oh cool, now, now I'm in your favor again. You read the edict as the sun rose behind the citadel, casting a long shadow in its wake. You are the last person to see that hall of knowledge, the moment before the devastation. The earth shook and the red light glowed in the foundation of the sprawling citadel, bubbling up from under the library, a torrent of lava heaved with explosive force, gushing from the windows and between the loose bricks, melting hostile trenches in the surrounding land. The mages awoke to smoke and fire from most it was already too late. I'm sorry, magic folk. Only a handful of bewildered mages escaped the smoldering collapse of the massive library fortress. Kairos will be done. All right. At dawn, we plan. We cast a spell at full sunlight. Yep. That 10 minute casting time, though. <laughs> That's a really good point. The Edict of Fire, the armies of Kairos left the devastation of the Vellum Citadel in silence. From that day forward, the tears came to know the once noble citadel as the Burning Library. I like that name better. 
This was an undisputed loss of resources, knowledge, culture, and life, but a message had been sent. The Overlord will not tolerate defiance. You didn't have long to rest before Tunan called you into service once more. You were one of the last to depart from the mountains, and as you journeyed off, you spotted a few campfires in the mountains. They were mere specks, dwarfed by the inferno, the last gaps of survivors, or perhaps looters from Cairo's army, bored and daring enough to pick through the ashes. All right. What next? Conquest complete. You have reached the end of Kairos conquest. Do you want to continue or erase your progress and start over? Let's go. I'm I'm happy with that. Feel bad that we like burned down a library. That's pretty sacrilege, regardless of what side you're on. The combat log provides detailed information on your attack rolls. The and year is 431, stuff. and Kairos's invasion has shattered all major opposition in the tiers. The younger realms, the bastard tier. The free cities. All who defied Kairos lay broken by battle or bowed in surrender. The two armies of the Overlord, the Disfavored and the Scarlet Chorus, now control our lands. But our will is not yet extinguished, not entirely. In the Valley of Vendrian's Well, those of us unwilling to bow to Kairos have banded together in defiance. Violating an oath of surrender from two years prior, we have staged a bloody uprising, murdering the disfavored and Scarlet Chorus garrison in a midnight assault. No! Spear through the head! That hurt! With their main forces spread across the tiers, the disfavored and Scarlet Chorus redeploy to Vendrian's Well to crush the resistance. But months pass with no definitive battle. Oh man, that sucks. As disagreement and discord paralyze the Archons, we bide our time and wait for our message of insurrection to spread across the tiers. The Overlord is not amused. And Kairos has one message for the Archons. Crush the Oathbreakers or die. Kairos backs this threat with an edict. A magical commandment that can slay all in the valley should the order be ignored. Oh man, this is pretty cool. The honor of proclaiming this edict fell to you. Oh, that's awesome. Sent across the mountains to Vendrian's Well, you carry the Overlord's edict to read before the Archons. Oh, this is awesome. As you finally make your way through the winding mountain passes into the valley, the ground trembles. And Kairos's magic seals the way behind you. Oh no. You are trapped in Vendrian's Well, with Kairos's armies and the Oathbreakers. The only way to survive is to fulfill the terms of the Overlord's Edict in any way that you can. Oh no. I shall do evil. Oh my god! I'm crying blood! I mean, that's- oh wait, that's me! Oh wow, guys, do you see this? This is a really good looking game. Especially for a kind of isometric RPG. Hey, wait, right. Okay, uh, what am I saying? Welcome to Tiritus. If this is your first visit to the world of tyranny, watch for those windows to help- Okay, watch for these windows. Okay, cool. Alright. Cool, I'm good. I got it. Well, she has a voice. Aurora, Kairos, the Overlord. Be praised. When I heard the avalanche, I feared the valley was sealed with you on the other side. The disfavored warrior claps her gauntlet to her breastplate. The traditional salute of her legion. All right, cool. The commander wouldn't say why the governor of Lethian's Crossing would be coming. Since we have no forges here, I imagine you're here to knock some sense into the voices of Narat. She catches herself, clearing her throat with a smile. I mean... Mediate with the Archons so that we might agree on a plan to wipe out these Oathbreakers. So I can glare silently. I am in a hurry to deliver a message to the Archons. I come bearing an edict of Kairos. Our soldiers will complete, complete their task or die. Or uh, can you hear the hum in the air that glow around the rocks? The avalanche is Kairos magic. The Overlord has sealed the valley. Fate by under Hillary Clinton, huh? Yeah. Um, next to the small world and just behind the truth. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
What do you guys think I should go with? Conversations involve you, so it's option one, two, three, or four. Conversations involve you, another character, and sometimes additional parties like bystanders or companions who may interject. The choices you make change how the story develops and will build a reputation um, for your character over time. People in the world learn of your reputations, good and bad, and respond accordingly. I feel like she would be in a hurry. Like, she doesn't spend time explaining herself. Um, so, like that. The edict is level against us. Her eyes widen with fear. Her passion slackers. Slackens. But the Scarlet Chorus prevents us from taking action. Why would the Overlord punish both of... She clears her throat with a sigh. Ah. <clears throat> <sighs> Forgive me, it is not my place to question. We should have conquered the enemy within weeks of arriving in the valley. The delay reflects poorly on all of us. Just to remind you guys, $10 to rename an NPC when reading, or $25 for a accent or voice direction during the stream. This is Tyranny, and we're actually playing it early, um, so thank you game devs. We get to play it two days early before it comes out. I'm debating whether what my starting career will be. I'm thinking either full mage, shock frost, or shock atrophy with a dual wield warrior. We went, um, let's see, uh, shock and frost, so we'll see how that goes. If we follow Kairos, we will stop the interaction. No harm will come to any of us. Glare silently to Arkans. I'm gonna glare silently. Brr. Brr. Um... So if I want the D and D experience, I should play this. I don't know what you guys are talking about in the chat room, but I love that you can just glare silently every time. Me too. Maybe I should just do that for the whole game. If following orders and killing the locals will save our lives, you don't have to tell me twice, and I sure hope you don't have to tell the Arkans twice either. She looks at you with a nervous smile. Still, this is all coming from the fire starter, the fate binder that made fire bubble up from the soil and reduce the vellum citadel to ash. So you'll forgive me if I'm still terrified all the same. Well, you've traveled a long way. I won't keep you further. I'm sure the Archons will want to hear from you at... Did you hear that? More runners, third time this week. The Oathbreakers keep trying to send messengers through the mountains to gather help from the valley. She points over to the collapsed path by which you arrive. But they are a bit too late for that now. Come, let's show these Oathbreakers a good fight. All right. Um. Uh, okay, so apparently options open up with what you choose. And then these banners indicate the faction. Okay. So she's disfavored. Alright, cool. But she likes me, I think. I think so. Um, alright. Uh, oh, okay. For the glory of Kairos! Okay, I'm gonna press space and- ah! Okay, how do I- uh... Alright, I'm- just attacking that character. I have um, a whole list of controls that got sent by the developer, so I'm like, what? Okay. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna keep walking. Wait, actually, is there- there's sparkles here. That usually means stuff. Let's get a uh, whetstone and a uh, thing. A possible real-time combat system, because you will often manage more than one character at a time. It is a good idea to pause the game, issue orders, and resume real-time to see the orders play out. The options menu also contains many choices- Oh, okay. Alright, cool. Um, can I do something with this boulder? A rock slide blocks the path ahead. You can squeeze through a narrow gap between the stones, or you can attempt to push one of the boulders out of your way. I wanna push. Push. Oh man, I'm not athletic enough. Damn it. All right, well, I'll just go over here. Sorry, I can't. You can't? Sorry, I can't. All right. It's looking gorgeous. All right. Wait, where are you? What, what are you doing back here? We should be vigilant and deal with the remaining oath breakers in the pass. 
This seems like a suicide mission. What do the vendor and guard hope to accomplish? I've been traveling for days. How much longer till, until I reach the Arkans? All right, uh, I'm gonna choose carry on. Is there another option? Okay. Just carry on. She's uninjured. Cool. I'm just gonna squeeze through right here. Ouch! Uh, hold on. I can pause the game to figure out what's going on. This is pretty cool. Shoot now. I want to go play the Shadowrun stuff I want. Oh. Um, if, I'm guessing combat is possible like other similar games. Yep, I'm doing that right now. And then I can... Ah. Oh, okay. So there's this, and there's... There's... Okay. There's... Okay, so this is what you can interact with. Um... Oh, there's other stuff. There's a journal. There's reputations. Um, spell creation. Alright. Talents. Selects the party member associated with that slot. Oh. Cool. Oh, okay. Cool. Alright. Oh. So, let's see. This is my thrust. My charged fist, my frozen grass, and my- okay, let's try- let's try that. If we can, I don't know if I'm doing this right. Or is there no voice acting? Um, there is voice acting for the main character, for sure. Oh, dude. I'm paused. Sorry, I can't. Oh, I- Sorry, I can't. You can't do that, huh? Can I do this? Can't do that. Can I do this? Can I do this? I'm just getting stabbed. I should probably step away. There you go. I got it. We'll do. All right. So that's cool. Self toggle. Oh, I also have that. There's a lot of stuff going on. The combat plays kind of like Dragon Age. I have not played Dragon Age, but all right, we'll just uh... can't do that. Can't do that. I got it. There we go. On it. Can't do that. Hmm. Can't do that. Sorry, I can't. So, we have the main character. Oh, here we go. What? Stone shield killed the honor guard? Alright, here we go. Sorry, I can't. I like how she's like, sorry, sorry I, I can't. can't. Can't do that. Hmm. Sorry, I can't. Nope. Can't do that. Right. There you go. All right, cool. The okay, dude. Spells are created using two or more sigils. The core sigil determines the type of magic, such as fire, frost, or illusion. The expression sigil determines how that core shapes itself into the world, such as a ball, of fire, frost. Okay. Cool. How do you use that? Oh, there. Okay. Huh. Begin creating a spell. Select the core sigil for the type of magic, followed by the expression sigil to determine what form the spell takes. For example, if you wanted to create a fireball spell, you would select the Sigil of Flame as a core, followed by the Sigil of Directed Force. Okay. Cool, where is all that stuff? Okay. Alright. Oh, that's cool. Alright. Let's keep going, I guess. Where are we here? Oh, hey. 
person laying there. You have a mushroom. Cool. Look at all these people hung up on the uh, post. Just a normal Tuesday afternoon in the world of tyranny. Uh oh. Try and catch me, worm. Oh. A young Scarlet Fury weaves around the Vendran guard attackers, avoiding their weapons with fluid grace. She nods to acknowledge you. Cool. A breathless enemy soldier passes a glance to her countrymen. This one's crazy too. Much lead in her water. We should cut our losses and turn back. I like how that's the um, <sighs> explanation. Here, here at last. Here to join me in putting these cowards out of their misery. Um. Yeah, sure. Scarlet Chorus, join the battle. Okay, you're one of us. Magic system reminds me of magic. Uh, reminds me a little bit. I'm still trying to understand how all the kind of spell creation works. Um. All right. Cool. I'll I'll just pick up this guy off. Oh, cool. I think you can also. Oh, I go. see you there. Oh, and then you can also I'll control. Out by your ass. All right. Not a problem, boss. I'm not dead yet. No, maybe. <laughs> All right, so that guy's taken care of. Uh, you got it. You got it. Ouch. Whew. I can tell you didn't spend the conquest in a diplomat's tent. The fighter surveys the fresh corpse and nods with satisfaction. I'm verse, by the way. But there are more important things to take care of than introductions. Those Vendrian guard we killed didn't come alone. Uh-oh. We can join the battle. Not so fast. Why are the Vendrian guard attacking now? You fight like a storm. What's your role in the army? You're a dismissed soldier if I need you. I will find you at the Scarlet Chorus camp. All right. Let's go with... You fight like a storm. What's a your Scarlet role in the Fury, army? One of the elite killers of our ignoble gang. You'll see more than a few of us around camp, but don't let that fool you. We're a rare breed. Oh, wow. Well. Most of the soldiers in the Scarlet Chorus are little more than farmers and children armed with rusted forks. Makes them easier to control. Shots fired. The voices of Narat called his best fighters to this siege. There must be something important about Vendrian's well, though don't ask me what. The Archon isn't in the habit of spilling secrets. Ah, okay. First... Not so fast. First, explain the what you're doing here. told me to intercept you at Edgering Ruins before you busied yourself solving all of the camp's problems. <sighs> Guess I was too late. You're due for a meeting with the Archons, but we should handle the small matter of this ambush first. All right, let's go Eager. fight. <laughs> I like that. Before we go, you might search among the remains of our fallen comrades. Wherever they're bound, I doubt they'll miss their boots, much less any rings or any useful iron they might be clutching. Sorry. I took a swig of my smoothie and it was a lot thicker than I was expecting. And also I have no water up here. But... <clears throat> um... For those of... Yeah, thank you. Uh, for those of you who are just tuning in, we are Hyper RPG, a, hair, a hyperactive, interactive, community-driven channel built by you guys. For you guys, every five subscribers, we give away a Steam key at this channel. Um, thank you. And every 50 followers, we give away a Steam key to a, reactive, a random active member in the chat room. And right now, we're playing Tyranny. We got early access to this game, so we're streaming it right now for you guys. Uh, you should honor your fallen, not pillage them. I see your point. Nice and practical. Hmm. No reason to pity the fallen. Before long, we might wish we'd joined them here. But at least we'll enjoy heavy pockets and warm toes. Yay! For the voices of Narat! Where's Furrows or Brown? Focuses down on the battle to come. Wait, wait, wait. Are we gonna pillage people? Yeah, I want some stuff. Wait, wait, what do you do? Hold on. Okay. 
I'm just gonna take all. Take all things. The Commandion Verse has joined your party versus a capable warrior skilled in both melee and ranged combat. As you acquire companions, you will need to balance their strengths against the strengths of your character to be successful in combat. While it is possible to adventure alone, you will find the game will be more rewarding with a well-balanced party. There are now two characters in your party and both are selected. Any commands you issue now will affect both party members. To select a single party member, click on their selection circle. Oh, okay. And press F1 to select the character or F2 to select verse. To select multiple party members, click and hold anywhere on the screen and drag the marquee over the circles of the party members you'd like to include. Alright, companions, you can either control your new companion directly, or you can enable their AI and have them attack and use their abilities automatically. Once their AI is enabled, you can always select them and tell them to attack a specific enemy or use an ability and they will follow your orders. Okay. If you right click on the AI button, you can see the AI settings for your party members. You can set the auto attack behavior, which determines how they attack for command you- okay. So on the AI button? Which one is that? Oh. So if I... Alright. Alright. Okay. Why do I have a piece of paper stuck here? Okay. Alright. AI behavior and, and... Okay. Defend party. Cool. Wait. Ah, there are more. Hey, aren't we clever? Just reset for the last two months. Thumper Pride, word represent. Zach, you've only been resubbing this channel for two months? Is that because of the Twitch Prime thing? That's probably why. Just a reminder, anybody who subscribed using Twitch Prime, that does not automatically resub to their channel. So if you haven't heard, you can use your Amazon Prime account Link your Twitch account and get a free sub to give to any channel of your desire, like Hyper RPG. A lot of you, uh, with the crowns in the chat room, you've already done that, but it doesn't auto resub. So you only have 15 days to resub to Hyper RPG and support the awesome channel that does all these cool tabletop RPGs and brand new games and fun stuffs. I swear, no looking back. The Vendrian Guard roars with his f uh, what's a falx? Held high, his so his words largely lost over the din of combat. Stand aside, or your funeral will be over the side of the bluff. Seeing you squarely in his path, the soldier points his weapon your way. I applaud your bravery, or there is no escape. Uh oh, maybe we can just charm him. Um, we'll just just lay down your arms. Not a chance. If I surrender, I'm as good as dead. At least we can drag some of Kairos Chosen along our short journey to the void. Yes, that's right. Twitch Prime does get really cool game goods. Hey, Boy Tokyo, thank you for following us at Hyper RPG. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh. Hey, testing, believe it or not. Wow. Thanks for the bits, aren't we clever? Turkish Demos, as he signals his men to charge, the sound of chanting rises from the south, drawing his attention. Scarlet Chorus, reinforcements! Hooray! Or maybe it was... Scarlet Chorus, reinforcements! Hurry! Oh wow, there's like a lot of them. Wait, that's our people. Ooh, dude, I like this character, Mocking Blaze. <clears throat> Run down the Oathbreakers, let none escape. From the red mob of reinforcements from the south, a blood chanter emerges at the head of the rabble, the ornamental crest of her staff pulsing with crimson tones, signaling sigils of magic and wordlessly moving her mouth. The blood chanter scribes a series of spells into the air. A red glow surrounds the Vendrian guard. Warriors, as the chanter's magic warms, its ways into their mind, blinding with rage. Hashtag Evo. Come on, guys. Tarkis Demos. Hold position, all of you. Keep the path. The warrior gestures along the canyon trail, but his soldiers turn their attention to the Scarlet Chorus, roaring challenges. No, don't engage with them. We need to run. 
His orders falling on deaf ears, the warrior reluctantly readies his weapon. Uh, since less of the dialogue is voice acted, Obsidian gets more time to edit and revise their writing. The effort really shines through. Yeah, that, that's a really good point. Alright, oh, okay. There's a lot of characters now, and uh, when you have companions in your party, you can execute unique and powerful abilities called companion combos. What, like this? St stance seeking sh- alright. Alright, Hillary Clinton doesn't have any, but Verse does. Okay. Okay. Hey! Make America a great again! Thanks for following us at Hyper RPG! Oh, oh my goodness, what's going on? Lots of fighting. It's like two groups. Okay, let's. Uh. Oh my goodness. And uh, just a reminder, folks, for all you uh, longtime members in the chat room, can you make any uh, new followers or people watching in the chat room feel nice and warm and welcome? Give them a nice Thumper family welcome. Uh oh, who's that? Crescent Runner. <clears throat> Come quickly! We have a situation on the cliffside! They have the commander! I don't know why I gave him that voice, but I thought it'd be funny. I, I hope you guys enjoy that. I can't wait for virtual voices to get to the point they can create inflection and we can have voice acting on the fly. No! But then how are all the voice actors gonna get work? Alright, let's go. We're wounded! Oh, just a little bit. I guess I could use one of these. No, it's poison. Uh, okay, I'll just use one of these. Cool. I think I did better. Did I... Am I better? I don't see my health getting better. <laughs> Crescent Runner had had his crescents dropped yet. I'm I don't on know. It. They can find jobs at Hyper RPG. Dude, I can't even have a job at Hyper RPG. A lot of the stuff I do here is volunteer work. Oh! Spears! Oh, cool. Can I pick up a spear? No? Oh, is there a dead person here? Where am- where's- we'll do. How do you select both? It was like that, I think? There we go. Oh, there you are! Oh my gosh! Look at this! A, 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 a blood! A, a red waterfall! All right. Show your weapons, or we find out how long a man screams before hitting the ravine down below. Cornered between a precipitous drop and a band of angry soldiers, the Oathbreaker warrior holds a disfavored officer at knife point. I, I don't care about disfavored. You can kill him. Ah. Uh, Skewer him! Worry not for me! Graven ashes will protect! The disfavored officer winces, blood seeping from the seams of his bracers. Yeah, he's already gone and let's just, just let him go. I don't, I don't care. Oh. Mocking blaze. You heard the man. He plainly invited you to use that little blade of yours. What are you waiting for? Permission from your pimp? Alright. Um, thanks. I'm glad. Uh, uh, I would be your candidate. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll just take my picture on top of the ones of Zach. That that would be, I actually would be very touched, you know, as American born abroad. If I could be uh, elected as your candidate, it, I would find that very touching. Um, what what voice did I give this guy? This blade was a jerk of the knife. He slices off a clump of Dratus Matus hair. If you're so eager to see your ally dead. Just step closer. Release the prisoner, and you might know the inside of a cell. Athletics requirement not yet. Uh, my attack weight, we, we have to help Dratus. You heard Dratus, let him- Ah! Number four. You heard Dratus, let him die. <laughs> yes! Let's see Craven Ash protect him. The blood chanter smirks, making a slicing gesture with her hand across her neck. Look 
Look at that finger point. <sighs> Blood gushes out from the commander's neck, drowning out his final words. <laughs> Tyrell points the bloody knife towards you. Death to Kairos! Death to the Archons! All right. The moment Dratus' body falls to the ground, the disfavored soldiers pounce forward, quickly reducing the Oathbreaker to a bloody mess. Oh no! Oh no! Aurora. Dratus' death will be a setback. He was a fine steward of the steadfast. Aurora swallows her lips, pursed in anger. But the losses we have sustained in this war! I'm next in command! I will aspire to be half the leader Dratus was! One of the soldiers found some mage blather on the Oathbreakers! Oh, uh, Aurora holds up a rolled sheaf of parchment. I figured you've been training in letters! Could perhaps... Um, Aurora looks down at the papers, her face blushing, and quickly thrusts the sheaf towards you. Um... I like this very snarky comment. All that training and nobody taught you to read? I like that. What? Go back. Oh, I guess I chose something. Uh, repeating the same message as in different written scripts, the parchments explain the Vendrian Gord's desire to overthrow... Kairos Archons and drought their armies from the tears. The pages aren't addressed to any specific reader, but rather openly invites all who remain loyal to the younger realms to gather at Vendrian's well. Ah, recruitment material. They were trying to bring more traders to the fight or useless scrawling, nothing more. Eh, I guess we'll go with option one. There were likely other groups trying to flee the valley, but we can rest knowing we stopped this group. It's a shame. It's such a, a it's at such a high cost. The Arkans are are expecting you at the disfavored war camp. When you are ready to leave, exit by the southeast gate and keep going that way through the foothills. Cool. I guess we're going. No, I I know we're wounded. I already used these things. No, actually I meant this. There we go. Alright. Uh, okay. I guess we, I, I keep wasting potions. I'm supposed to um, rest or level up. Okay, cool. Alright, let's just I'm on it. go this way. Hey, what, what are you guys doing? Not happening. Not happening? Come on. Bye. Oi. The Archon demands all prisoners to be given a chance to serve. The gutter swan killed Dratus, there will be no mercy. Uh, okay. I'll just uh, talk to this guy. The prisoner is from the Tarkis clan? He's not just any oathbreaker, he's one of their leaders. Uh, Aurora signals to her men by dragging her hand across her neck. She really likes this gesture, sorry. No mercy for those who foment rebellion find a post and string him up if his words don't kill him thirst starvation at infection will do this lady is ruthless oh my gosh thirst starvation or infection will do the rest damn you know beneath that sweet purple armor is a horrible person um mocking blaze all must be given a chance to find absolution in service to the Scarlet Chorus. She points her finger at the disfavored officer, Aurora. And you know full well this has been our way. He has a chance to be a slave or a soldier. Only then do we feed him to the pigs. All right. Let's see. I tire of this nonsense. You keep recruiting these oath rakers, then you fail to inflict order, and they defect, and we have to fight them all over again. I will not let another one of these sauce snobs come back to haunt us. Put your foot down. <sighs> well, I insist this oath breaker has taken to the voices of Nerat, leaving us with an impasse. 
Fortunately, we have a fate bender binder here to settle the matter for us. Chandra turns to you, an expectant smile creeping across her face. So, what do you say? What should become of this prisoner? So, the power is in our hands. Execute the Oathbreaker. Once, one chance to surrender is enough. Or the Corps should be allowed its chance to recruit new warriors. I, I guess we should, you know, we keep losing our own. So, I think the Corps should be allowed its chance to recruit new warriors. What do you guys think? You guys are talking about food. That's not very fair to me. I haven't eaten anything all day. Um, the Corps should be allowed its chance to recruit new warriors, right? I think so. If that is how you wish it, the prisoner will go to the Scarlet Chorus. But mark my words, treating these curs with kindness has been and continues to be a mistake. If it will calm your nerves, I assure you, this one won't be put on the battlefield. The mage snaps her fingers loudly, gesturing for her gang delicious. This lady is so cool, isn't she? Make sure the prisoner is taken straight to the voices of Narat. It's okay, I'm just, I'm just teasing you guys. Aurora gives you a solemn nod. Until next time, Fate Binder, I know you have an important business in the valley. No point in keeping you. She snaps to salute. For the glory of Kairos. All right, let's end the conversation. Now, where do we go? Where are we going? Uh, la la la. Okay, we're it, it went up here, but we're down here. So, I guess we'll keep walking. Keep walking. No dice. No dice. All right, well, let's go this way then. Hi. Oi. Oi. What do you guys think of this game so far, huh? It's uh, it's a lot of reading. You got on it. my behalf. All right, I think we should go back the way we came. I wonder if I'm strong enough to move that boulder on it. yet. Okay. How did you select both again? Let's see. Oh, there's somebody to talk to. Why, hello? Just point me in the right direction. I told you I would pull through, didn't I? Alright, I guess you were right. I guess you were right. Seems like a good game so far. Yeah, okay. Am I going the wrong way? I think I'm, I might be going the wrong way. Maybe there's more stuff. No, it wasn't. No, it was the end. It was like, it was a dead end. It was just like a bloody waterfall. Let's go back. Not happening. Not happening, why? Dude, look at this. This is so graphic. The ancient weeping mother statue pays homage to the Queen Lyceris. What? First of her name, fresh water once flowed from the statue, but when Kairos forces attacked Venerine's well, the statue became weeping blood and has done ever Dude, that is like freaky. That is freaky. The path behind you is now blocked. Okay, I guess this is also a dead end. Yeah, click and drag a box around. Oh, maybe this. There we go. There we go. Yes. Thank you. I was just going on the character portraits. All right. Let's keep exploring. On away we go on this fantastic adventure. What's going to happen to us now? We're gonna go down some stairs. I wish the screen bumping was a little faster. All right. Oh, there be some people here. Hi, hi there. We we're gonna we're gonna take all your stuff. We're gonna auto loot that. Could you? Wouldn't it be awesome if you could just can't do that. Um, steal things from people automatically. Like, hmm, you seem rich, and I like your watch. Auto loot. That would be pretty funny. Doo doo. And also, even though the game is not out yet, you can already preload it. So that is a pretty cool thing. If you're very interested in tyranny, you can preload the game. That's some nice armor. Damn. Oh, here we go. What is this? What is that? Here we go. Let's go up here. Let's go up here. What's in here? Can't do that. Can't? 
Climb the rope! Man, I wish I was more athletic. Sorry, I can't. Wah. Are we stuck here? Do do oh, yeah, there's some, some things here. Things here. Oh, take all. There's some fruit. And quick finger bangles. And a falx, which is a two handed weapon. Very well. What should we do next? Sorry, I can't. But, but that just goes back up into here, right? Which is where we started. Sorry, I can't. Okay. Hi there. The Oathbreaker slays a disfavored commander and you showed a Lentian hand a sad excuse for justice. Well, I just I thought we needed a chance to recruit some more people. You know, they call us the bad guys, but we're, maybe we're good. Oh, Crescent Runner. If, <laughs> if you see the chorus causing problems, let me know and I'll crack. I'll crack it. Crack something. Morning, Malika. Morning, Thumpers. Hi, how are you doing? Oh! Sorry, I can't. No, this is where we were supposed to go earlier. Cool. Let's, let's keep going. Let's talk to this person. Can't well, do that. Oh, your arrival pleases the master. Awesome. Let's keep going. We're gonna we're gonna keep walking now. Alright, where are we going next? Uh we were at the ruins and now we're gonna go to a camp. It will take us three hours to get there. You can't make everybody happy, Malika. Disfavored are gonna dislike you because all the Scarlet Chorus kindness. That's true, but the Scarlet Chorus is is pretty ruthless. All right, let's uh, let's talk to these people. Take what you can carry, but leave. All right. Uh, <clears throat> Slow down a moment. I know we're both eager to watch the Arkans bicker over tactics, like a pair of magpies, but I need to ask you something first. What's that? I don't have time for this. Oh, but I do have time to remind you guys that every five subscribers at Hyper RPG, we give away a Steam key to a random active member in the chat room, as well as every 50 followers at Hyper RPG, we also give a random um, Steam key to a random active member in the chat room. Hello, I got this pre-purchase too. Normally I don't pre-order, but this is Obsidian after all. Yeah, they make some wonderful games. Okay. Uh, sure. The voices of Narat told me that you've become a mediator. Considering the source, well, I can't help but feel I'm only hearing half the story. So let's have it out. What's so special about you? I'm here to deliver an edict. Uh, oh, you get to lie. I'm actually take, take, telling the expenses of the siege. I have nothing to tell you. Why so suspicious? Um, I like, I have nothing to tell you. I have nothing to tell you. Alright, if you say so, you're, walk, you're walking with this weight pressing your shoulders, and I thought you could use it for Piri. Uh, I, I really ought to be meeting with the Argons. Oh, I gained some loyalty, even though I, like, told her nothing. That's pretty cool. One thing, be careful about these disfavored types. They take their work seriously and have suffered too many blows to the head. Oh. She's, is that, like, the way she tells you that they're dumb? Okay, I will step closer and present myself. Okay, I'm here. You don't want to talk? All right. I wonder what a stone shield would sound like. <clears throat> well, look at you. Our gatecrasher from the court is still in one piece. The guard pounces. Just played in salute. Welcome to the disfavored camp. Always happy to have an honored ally play us a visit. I feel like he must talk slow if he's the stone shield, right? I think they're all called stone shields. I think it's like the ranking they're in. Um, Graven Ash protects. I'm sorry, but with the helmet, it's hard to tell a face. I, 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 I'm gonna glare silently. Oh, and then he points at me. Go on in. The Archons are expecting you. You'll find them in the war tent center of the camp. 
It's a polite this, right? Okay. Ah, so uh, war tent, center of the camp. I don't want to talk to you guys. You're wasting my time. Well, here there. Is this the center of the camp? Oh, there's a guy here and he's got a red thing. Oh! This guy's a bit of quip! Glory to the voices of Narat! Projecting his salutation for all to hear, the grunting blood chanter wraps his staff against the ground as you approach. Fatebinder Hillary Clinton, I presume? His smile quickly retreats, giving way to a sour scowl. I am bitter quip. I am here as the emissary of the Scarlet Chorus. All right. Bitter quip looks at you impatiently. What is it like working with the disfavored? Or what can you tell me of the Scarlet Chorus? Or oh well. Hmm. He's part of the Scarlet Chorus, so I'm going to ask what is it like working with the disfavored. <clears throat> he scoffs, looking away for a moment before sniffing and returning his attention to you. Reporting to the Iron Hag is an insult. She fought one duel for her title, won. Her, t her leadership must be continuously proven, earned, and defended. Weakness should bleed to the bottom of the army, not rise to the top. This seems very bitter, doesn't he? Um, something looks terrible. All right, my assignment here is also an insult, but one I f will. Blah, 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 blah. Excuse me. My assignment here is also an insult, but one I will bear for the good of the chorus. Bitter quiff sniffs the air, smiling one side of his mouth. I don't even know how you do that. If only to see with my own eyes the failure of the disfavored, that will be a fine day. What is it like working with the disfavored? Um, we already asked that. So tell, uh, what can you tell me of the Scarlet Chorus? Okay. The Chorus is the future of the tears. I only feel derision and pity those who fear our inevitable ascension. L looks at you with a raised eyebrow. What in particular would you like to know? Um, so tell me about the voices of Narat. How would you come to join the Scarlet Chorus? What is your role in the chorus? Sounds if you really like the voice of Narat. And that is that is all for now. Um, let's learn about the voices. He is Supreme Commander and Public Servant. He who sets us free but directs all. The voices of Narat is the epitome of what each of us can be. A magician without equal and the leader of uncountable numbers. Dude, is there some kind of a little bit of a... Uh, does he have a crush on the voices of Narat? Thank you, Anxiety Ridden. I'm trying. It's hard to keep track of all of them. If you guys uh, want $25, you can give me a... Um, I'm like voice action, uh, voice direction, or an accent, and um, ten dollars just to rename an NPC. I don't know. That's what Ryan told me, but I don't know if I can rename them from here. Um. So, do do do. Yeah, that's totally like he has a crush on Narat. See, his face is turning. I mean, his face is already red, but I think like his scalp got redder. What do you guys think? You think so? Okay. The voices and the chorus are one, conquering, expanding, growing, changing, always stronger. Bitter Quip pounds his staff on the ground. Glory to the voices. Um, uh, la 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 la. What is your role in the chorus? I am Blood Chanter. My magic can turn the will of man and the tide of battle. I hear command for three years now. The wing force to keep an eye on the disfavored is not the reward I had envisioned for my service thus far. Because I'm better than all you guys. He's like, I'm better than this. Yeah. Um, sounds like as if you're really... <laughs> I like this line. Sounds as if you really like the voices of Narat. Blinks several times and scowls. <clears throat> Saying nothing. Uh, Alright, I want to just kind of ask all this. How did you come to join the Scarlet Chorus? 
The doctrine of strength speaks to me, and I answered its call, as did some of my arcane peers. I took to the chorus almost instantly, unlike most. I cried not for the life of combat lost to me. My magic invokes fear and terror, and I easily established my dominance over a pack in my early days in the chorus. This guy is so, like, into himself. Hey, Cheslin the Forgotten! Thanks for following us at Hyper RPG! Every follow, and subscriber, and tip, and bit, and viewer in the chat room, and person talking, y'all help out, so, and you help us stay... whatever. We, we wouldn't be here without you. If you're so curious about it all... Lifting an eyebrow. Perhaps you should visit our camp and see for yourself. Eh, that is all for now. Very well. The sassy kid. Yeah, he's like, he's a, he's a fun character. I like that. And I like that he's just so proud of his abilities. Oh, a meager portion of game. It's time for cooking. I wish I could smell what they're cooking. I'm very hungry right now. Um, what did you have to say? The only good oath. <clears throat> wow. The only good oathbreaker is a flayed oathbreaker. I don't Sorry, care. I can't. I don't care what the chorus is. All right. Can we go in there? Nope. Oh, we just went inside a tent. Hey, DG Gromley. Thanks. Thanks for following us. Thank you. I don't know why I didn't get an alert. So I, I uh, but I saw it in the chat room. Good evening. Perhaps the voices in your skull ought to become a consensus, if you wish. Good advice is flexible, changing the moment. Besides now, we're agreeing with, with yesterday. You know you hate going into battle without overwhelming odds. If you're so terrified for a challenge, why wait for your reinforcements? I don't need your heckling, I need your scouting reports. Or better yet, call a confirmation you quelled the Oathbreakers in the Outer Valley. Oh, that! We solve it in our own time and way. We must make at least a, a token effort. Mercy. They already shat upon their mercy once before. These gutterborn south snobs deserve nothing. Oh, calm down now. We must leave something to rule. Or have you forgotten Kairos orders? Patience, old chum. I, I don't know what kind of conversation I kind of interrupted here, but hello. Hello There's there. There's four reports of avalanches in the mountains now. Oh. The tearsmen can barely count past nine. That's kind of They have cool neither voice. the capacity nor the cause to close off the mountain passes. Either way, that leaves the second and fourth cohort trapped outside the valley. Uh oh. The Arcan of War pounds the staff in the ground to punctuate his words. Could you imagine if you, like, talk to that, like, Hi, my name is Malika. And this is Hyper RPG. I don't know. Did that work? I'm just trying it out. Um, a large and imposing man to begin with. His profile. I wish I was big. His profile is made much larger by his hulking suit of armor that hums with mystic energy. That's pretty cool. Or it's the work of your perfidious Earthshakers. Oh, dude! Only a fool Narat. would not suspect a traitorous archon of poisoning the mind There's a, there's a dude out there. He totally has a crush on you. We would have killed the Earthshakers Guild for their master's treachery. But I'm sure you have some perfectly valid reason for allowing them to live as your pawns. As your pawns? All right, twirling the ra rod in hypnotic circles Emerald luminance seeps from the seams of the Arkin's ragged red robes. The glow is most notable where his neck ought to be. His mass seems to float and spin, never pivoting or bending naturally. That's hey, pretty cool. Hey, watch yourself. When these two get going, you don't want to get between them. Verse whispers fearfully as she beholds the Arkin's. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, this is my, my mission. I am here to proclaim Kairos Edict. The valley was sealed in preparation for this moment. I like this kind of like samurai helmet mask right here, but it's also skeletal, like a skeletal samurai. It's pretty cool. See that right here? It's this character. Um, Iron Marshal Erenyos. Er Erenyos. Governor Hillary Clinton. Long have we been honored by your iron. Now we are honored by your presence. I must apologize for my lords. 
tempers run high of late. So, um, I could glare silently. Apologies for the sudden entrance. Nah, she doesn't apologize. Bow, I can, we can, we can do this. Welcome, Firestarter. We have been eagerly anticipating your arrival. Perchance you bring another of Kairos' oh, edicts I've gained to a lot of favor. Me. Perchance you bring another of Kairos' edicts to savage the enemy. Oh, yeah, dude. We Check this shit out. We never make it. So, so glad that Drastus' demise didn't cause further delay. The Archon of Secrets turns his attention to you. The frozen Erictus, fashioned into his bronze mask, greets you with a permanent smile. Huh. Alright, uh... Option number one seems really interesting. The Archon of Secrets chuckles softly, saying nothing. No. The voices of Narad has all manner of eyes and ears. It's safer than not to assume he's listening. Hey, you will be avenged. Thanks for that. Six months of subscribing and supporting Hyper RPG. We wouldn't be able to exist without great, awesome Thumper supporters like you. So thank you. Thank you for resubbing. And um, just a reminder, guys. Um, if you subscribe using Twitch Prime, it automatically like unsubscribes you. It doesn't auto resub. So if you want to continue to support Hyper RPG, which I really, really, really hope you do, um, please use that twitch prime account and resub to our channel the voices of narat has all manners of eyes and ears it is safer than not to assume he's listening uh i guess i've got to do number two the archon of secrets chuckled softly but well, you always the just voices laugh of narat has all manner of eyes and ears it's safer than not to assume he's listening uh, okay once again, you bring us support in a time of need. We fondly remember your service to the Chorus in the taking of the Bastard City. We knew back then you were destined for great things. But we had not anticipated you would be twice honored with the task of proclamation. So, do not keep us waiting. What is the Overlord's will? Oh, I really like this character. It makes me feel all like good and evil inside. I'm like, I don't care about you, sort of. You can die. Um, let's see. The options are one, two, and three. Overlord's loyal servants must hold Ascension Hall by Kairos Day of Swords, or all in the valley shall perish. It seems you need some encouragement to work together. Kairos Edict will end the lives of everyone in the valley unless the Ascension Hall is claimed by Kairos Day of Swords. Or three, in honor of your incompetence and disarray, the Edict will execute every living thing in this valley unless the Ascension Hall is taken by Kairos Day of Swords. All right, cool. Can we start a poll in the chat room, please? This is a big decision time, big decision time. One, two, or three. It seems like number two is the most straightforward one, right? I just want to see all the people who are dying because of this spell. All right. Um, and I just want to remind people, every five subscribers at Hyper RPG, we give away a Steam key to a random active member in the chat room. Yep, and if you're wondering why you should subscribe to Hyper RPG, you get access to our VODs right after the stream, which is a great way to catch up with our tabletop RPGs. Um, you have access to our Discord, which is subscribers only, except for a few channels, and you get to join the Corporate Roar, Corporate Roar, Corporate War, which is our Shadowrun metagame. And uh, you get to hire the Shadowrunners on Shadowrun Corporate Sins. That happens on Wednesday nights. Wednesday nights? Yeah, Wednesday nights. And uh, you and the members of your corporation can hire those Shadowrunners to do your bidding. It's a lot of fun. And more giveaways and $5 off our Teespring campaigns. Okay. So, a ballot was created. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Mods for doing such things. Corp Roars. Yeah, join the corporate ro roars. Rawr. I mean, those corporations are headed by like dragons and stuff. Hey, Sarah Lynn, thank you for following us at Hyper RPG and welcome to the Thumper family. Uh, let's see who, uh, who was uh, option one, two, or three. Which one are we going for? Dark Deer in the Woods. Hey, y'all. Hi. 
uh how are you enjoying your time working at hyper um i am a host here at hyper rpg i play games on malika vision that is tuesdays from one to five ish and then i um pretty much volunteer all my other time so it's it's pretty fun it's been kind of rough on the wallet but it's it's fun and i love everybody here winner results it seems like everybody wants option three. In honor of your incompetence and disarray, the edict will execute every living thing in this valley, unless Ascension Hall is taken by Kairos, Day of Swords. That's right, swords. So I have gained loyalty with Verse, gained favor with the voices of Narat, and gained wrath. Oh, wrath, that's exciting. The air sways with each word you utter. The air, that's right, the earth sways. The air thickening with warmth as you pronounce the tersely phrased commandment, every syllable drafted by the hand of Kairos. With the edict proclaimed, your pulse- Man, I wanted to read that out loud. Uh, with the edict proclaimed, your pulse quickens and the muscles in your legs, worn from a long trip down the mountains, feel renewed. The tired limbs now nearly buoyant with vigor, so you feel energized with killing people. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, we heart you, Malika, Thumper fam. And I heart all you Thumpers in there. I love you guys. The Overlord means to compel us into action. No doubt the avalanches in the mountains are part of this ultimatum. We must conquer the Oathbreakers or die in failure. Uh -oh. There is no room for error and no other way out of this valley alive. Ugh. The Overlord means to compel us into action. All right. We'll need to advance across the Matani. We lose everything if we stand still. And we move to back up Plan Green. The Earthshakers didn't Plan make Green. it over the mountain in time. So we do this the hard way. Over the walls instead of through. Hey, uh, did you notice that black up, back up Plan Green instead of like, oh, we're going to move to Plan B. It's like, no, we're going to move to Plan Green. I chose colors so you wouldn't know that I actually had to go through a lot of plans and I had to scrap through a lot of things because they all failed. Um... You know how we have shark attacks? We should have bunny stampedes. Yes! The bunny stampede. Let's go. That would be great. All right, guys. Uh, taps a finger against this temple. A low rumble. <clears throat> Escapes. So you found your backbone at last! <laughs> oh, I love this character. Oh my gosh. Humiliations would make you soft, timid. Oh, that was a record for timid. you, right? The Baker's Dozen lost in one sortie. If you had waited for the chorus reinforcements, maybe we'd have eyes and ears on the matter. Hey, Crimson Paw! Thank you, thank you, thank you for following us at Hyper RPG, and welcome to the Thumper family. Y'all should raise your paws, fellow Thumpers. Oh my god, guys, we got a bunny stampede! Thank you, that's so cute. Um, Baker, all you wish? Uh, are you too daft? Learn to work together, we're all doomed. Remain silent. Okay. Alright, alright, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna choose this one. I'm gonna insult them. Ah, you two daft! It is your indecision and bickering that necessitated this necessitated this edict. Daft? Daft? Only fools hate their lives enough to insult our intellect. Did you see that? I gained but favor. Our Invective is not without purpose. I gained uh, Each moment we waste, Murat. death by edict draws closer. Graven Ash, we leave you to tackle the river. The chorus will scour the outer valley. The outer valley. Strong bunny hype. I like that. I really like the bunny. All right. So that is what it takes to get you to agree to a plan of action. The threat of death? You place the Overlord in this position with your incessant arguments, but now we've actually agreed to do something. Kairos be praised. Kairos be praised. Then enough talking. There's work to be done. Just a reminder, guys. Um, after Malika Vision, we will have the Gauntlet, which is Paizo Pathfinder meets American Gladiators in a quest for the gold and um they are they are the marauders so dfa marauders are going to be on the gauntlet tonight and after that at 7 30 we have cineverse with 
Augie, Adam, Erica, and Hector, and they're going to be talking about movie news, and I'm definitely going to be in there, and I'm going to be asking them about Doctor Strange and The Handmaiden if they haven't seen it, because, uh, yeah, we talk about movie stuff. So join us later tonight for all those wonderful things. Don't go away. Uh, the voices like it when you're bold. Graven likes it when you're respectful. Yeah, well, maybe I could be boldly respectful. My lord Beric and his band have been drilled on the Echo Call assault plan. The Crescent Runners should be briefing him as we speak regarding the latest enemy movements along the river. You see Graven Ash is like, Bleh. I will dispatch him at once. The Iron Marshal salutes, clapping her gauntlet to her breastplate. Fifth Eye, and I, I, well, ensure the overlord, or excuse me, ensure the chorus stands ready to march. If the disfavored can take the river, the chorus has the manpower to secure the outer ring of the valley. Our soldiers clamor for battle. Uh, anyone know how closely the handmaiden is based First, on the fingersmith? I heard a lot, except for the, the settings. Binder. The setting is completely Tunon's different. Is but the, the first part of the movie, the first third, is, is almost like it's the same story. Uh, Our soldiers clamor for battle, and at last we shall have it. Verse, we command you to continue guarding the fate binder Turnan's chosen is our honored guest and must be shown i up. won't let you down nice. boss she'll get through the campaign in one piece as long as she doesn't do anything too stupid what you just call me stupid girl the voices of Nurat, the Arkin twists his scepter one last time then taps the fifth eye on the shoulder and the two you have an eye on your shoulder what are you are you gonna go touch it right now Oh Fine. man. The fool and his puppet are gone. Perhaps now I can hear myself think. Rarely do I question Kairos' judgment. But I will never understand why the voices of Narat is given such authority. Because he's hot. I shudder to think what will become of us all should Tunon favor him in the end. He's got a fan club right outside his tent. He's just Though jelly. Though the edict threatens the Scarlet Corps just cool. as it threatens us. I cannot shake the feeling that our allies will work against us. No, oh, so this guy, okay. So he, he's, um. Now, hmm. if you'll leave me be, I have a battle to plan. I imagine duty requires you speak with the chorus further. But if I can convince you to lend a hand, most of my legion is trapped beyond the mountains. So I'm in need of an added sword or two. An added sword? You need a sword? Okay. If you wish to be counted amongst the glorious, speak with the Iron Marshal. She will direct the order of battle until we are ready for the final push into the Citadel. The Citadel. The Citadel. I like that. Citadel. All right. So should we help Graven Ash? And what of the Scarlet Chorus? How will they be helping? Oh, glare silently. I'm going to glare. And you've gained wrath. All right. Is that disfavor? The Iron Marshal salutes Graven Ash, then turns to leave the tent. I will be at the training grounds, readying the soldiers. Find me there when you are ready. Um, I like that Paximo said that uh, the gauntlet is everything that you've been waiting for in your life, but never knew existed. Um, but or never knew. She pauses, clearing her throat. <clears> throat. Although I am low to mention it, the chorus can likely use your assistance. They certainly won't secure the outer valley on their own. Fifth Eye will be somewhere in that rat's nest they call a camp. Due east, seek him out if you must. I feel like that is probably a better voice for Ian Marshall. I like- she's really cool though, she's like the skeleton samurai. All right, we have a, a quest completed. All right, so now that I have delivered this, this, this happened. Hmm. Cool. Eight days to Cairo's day of swords. All right, let's get to swords. I'm going. Okay. Sorry, I can't. All right. We'll do. We'll go out. We'll go out now. Sorry, I can't. 
Oh, you can. There we go. You go out. I go out. All right, now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Where are you going? Oh, your secret admirer is gone. All right, what's, what's going on in the camp? Eh. Dude, what are they? Sorry, I can't. Dude, are Sorry, they? Sorry, I can't. They're eating thumpers. They are evil. Look at that. Poor little bunnies. Little bunnies. Oh, there, yeah. there you are. Sakarok is a thumper in training. Thank you for following us at Hyper RPG and welcome to the Thumper family. Thank you very much. Just a reminder, guys, if you subscribe to the channel, we dance. Just letting you know, there's a little dance party on screen. I, I want to talk to this guy again. He's awesome. Back again? Bit equip looks you up and down, his face and amused. Have you so little to do besides standing around the disfavored camp? Um, we already asked him that. Farewell. I oh, doesn't want to talk to us anymore. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Gotta. It's eight days till Kairos Day of Swords. All right, we're going to walk. We're going to walk. Where are we going? Can we go this way? Where are we going? I don't know. That's the edge of the map. That is also the edge of the map. That's not where I wanted to go. Oh, hi. Hi, animals. Is that the pig? It's a boar. Why, why are you trying to domesticate a pig? Alright, oh, here we go. Run over here. So evil dealer is one, and now on a mission to squash rebellion. Yeah, it's it's very interesting how kind of complex the story has gotten. Uh, is this where we want to go? Oh yeah, the Scarlet Chorus Camp. It will take us two hours to travel. Blackbird, I really need to quit watching this show every time I watch it. Uh, I add a new game to the list of games I want to buy. Well, this is definitely an incredible game. That being said, I get really into the stuff that's like in front of me. Um, so I'm glad you are really getting into it too. Oh, the compass icon. If you click it, will take you to the map to move. Oh, that's, that's, that's cool. Kila. Where are we going? Oh, we're going this way. Oh, are you? Oh, Lord. <clears throat> the guard places her hands by her belt as you approach, gripping the hilt of a blade. Past this point is chorus territory, and you don't look like someone's conscript. You're sure you're in the right place? I am Hillary Clinton. Fatebinder of Turon, I'm here to help vanquish the Oathbreakers. It's really funny. I'm really glad you guys gave her a funny name. You know, I think it was I was told to expect somebody, but you seem too ugly to be her. Her lips crumple into a smirk. What exactly should I let you in? Why it should be why exactly? Excuse me. You dolt! This is the fight finder. She's been with us since the gates of judgment. Fucking new fish! Start learning names of faces, or find work as someone else's moving target. The guard shakes her head, blushing with embarrassment. I'm t I'm so terribly sorry. Now please come right in. Kill her. Did you see her? She's like, oh, I'm blushing. Wow! Look at these people. These badasses shooting arrows. There, that's pretty cool. Do you, I like how there are female characters in the game. Like, there's just as many female warriors and diplomats and stuff. Um, Alright. Oh, is this where I'm going? Why'd you take a look at that? Wait, what are we looking at? Oh, they're just talking. Let's go over here. Sorry, I can't. Sorry, I can't. Oh, oh! There you are! There you are! Well, it helps that if you're not liking a game, we can tell, <laughs> and you're afraid to say. Well, thank you. 
<clears throat> Her name's Baz, right? <clears throat> what kind of voice would she have? What, what kind of voice does Baz have, guys? What do you think? Uh, nope, the idiot that Malika's character in game was talking <laughs> to. Um... <clears throat> Well, look what we have here. Uh, chewing on some manner of cud, a heavy set soldier flings spittle <laughs> as she talks. The fate binder finally shows herself. Oh, I'm red. The second soldier chimes in, and this is Baz. <clears throat> I guess Reg should have like a different voice. We were wondering what you might pay the camp a visit. The fifth eye has been, or the fifth eye is on your shoulder, right? Has been a little st starved for attention. He has ordered us to watch you like a troublesome babe. Make sure you don't get out of line. Baz knits her fingers together, joints cracking as she smiles. All right. Just a reminder, guys, every five subscribers we get to Hyper RPG, we give away a Steam key, as well as every 50 followers to Hyper RPG, we give away a Steam key to a random active member in the chat room. So if you've been thinking about following us, you got nothing to lose. We would really appreciate it if you just hit that follow button and we get one step closer to giving away a Steam key to a random active member in the chat room. It could be you. Red clears his throat, <clears throat> loudly scowling at Baz. <clears throat> Something like that. If you have questions, ask us. Good finding anyone else in camp who will give you answers or even a smile. And also a reminder, um, I, I don't actually think I can rename NPCs. Or maybe, you know. But uh, I think I can uh, do this, which is $25 for an accent or voice direction. And that money goes to supporting our channel. Um... So, anything can- anything we can do for you? Uh, can you tell me about the fifth eye? That's pretty cool. <clears throat> I think this voice should have the voice of Batman. <clears throat> Reg trades an unforgettable glance with Baz and lowers his voice to a whisper. <clears throat> they say he shares a direct link with the voices of Nerat. Guard your tongue around him. He's a little. Wow, bloodthirsty mad. Baz thinks for a moment. Brilliant. Reg flinches and glances over his shoulder. I was going to say eccentric. The chorus isn't picky about who joins the ranks, so you can expect to find some unusual types. Most are likely to kill you as promote you. Also, I don't wear hockey pants. Um, tell me about yourself. Uh, oh, I guess we could say, what do you know about Vendrine's Wall? The walls might seem imposing, but the Vendrine Guard do a better job of hiding its weakness than fixing them. She shrugs. We took the Citadel once more. We can take it again. I'm trying to go with Batman. He looks like Batman. I mean, he's got kind of like wings that remind me of Batman on his shoulders. We have to, don't we? Looks up at the posing tower uh, of the spire. Though Kairos knows, I don't want to stay any longer than necessary. She follows his gaze and shakes her head. You shouldn't know better than to parade your cowardice before the fate binder. It's not cowardice. It's just superstition. Um, are you afraid of the spire? I. Sorry, Finkbinder. I shouldn't have mentioned anything. He sighs. The matter of the fact is, we were told to stay away from spires and the old wells ever since we were babes. All of the dumb childhood lessons that fell by the wayside that once stayed the same. The same. Imagine a soldier of the chorus pissing himself over the architecture. More like what's underneath it, Red frowns. The Bane lurk around those old sites and kill anything they can watch unawares. I no wish to meet the Bane in combat unless there are a hundred bloody chanters at my back. 
No, he just needs a throat loss. Yeah, I think I need one. I'm gonna drink some water. Baz twists her lips into a friend as she considers this. Me neither, I suppose. Me neither, I suppose. Tell me about yourself, Batman. He scratches his head, at the back of his head, at a loss for words. I had a family. A farm. Then the chorus came. And, well, now I have the chorus. Hey, Mangle81, thanks for resubbing the Hyper RPG for the last two months. You have been an awesome member of the Thumper family. And here's to many more months. And I'm going to sip this water. <sighs> That's right. Just a reminder, guys. All subscribers at Hyper RPG are assigned a very specific role at the yojimbo and with every month of your subscription you get promoted so if you just use um exclamation who am i or exclamation who is uh that will tell you your role and ranking on the yojimbo right here the spaceship can you see priorities change when you hear screams in the night and feel a blade pressed to your neck things like farms or families don't seem as important i used to have nightmares thinking about the calling felt awful remembering how i hacked my ma and dad to bits just so i could survive dude reg's got a deep dark past let's let's find out about baz the fifth eye. Oh, has a feverish gleam. All right. Uh, the fifth eye heard me howling one night, pushed me out of the horde, and took an interest in me. Now I'm studying magic, calling fire from nothing. If my ma and dad could see me now, they'd be so proud. I know. Is that annoying you? I'll just kind of... Um, sign out f uh there we go sorry um reg show me what the fifth eye has been teaching you well make this valley burn that's the end of the conversation all right cool um i can also train let's let's train some uh, subterfuge what is subterfuge i don't know but i'm loving it Cool. And then, uh, let's, uh, oh, let's, let's train some magic stuff. Cool. No worries. All right. Cool. So we had, oh, can we rest? Let's rest. Now I can heal the pain. Yes. Ooh, it's night time. How very romantic. Look, it's purple and there's a campfire that's glowing. Ooh, you look important. I'm going to talk to you. You look important too. Sniggler Daglos. Oh, come on, guys. Who came up with these names? <clears throat> what is what does Sniggler Dagos sound like? Um, upon noticing your approach, the merchant straightens his posture. And smiles. <clears throat> what an honor. The name's Snigler Dagos. Originally from the relative tranquility of the Northern Empire, I've since accepted a nomadic life for the sake of keeping Cairo's forces supplied with only the finest goods, local and imported. Oh, he's a shopkeeper, that's awesome. Let me see your wares. He winces a little. It's not much, but let me know if you see anything that piques your interest. Cool. Let's go shopping! Uh, I don't have any gold! Um, so let's not! Damn it. Alright, let's see if there's anybody else cool around here. Who else? Ooh, what's that? What is that? I want my hands on a green glowing scroll. Read scroll. All right, let's get some lore. Ooh, learned a new spell core. What is this? 
I don't know what that means. Looks like healing, though. Alright, cool. 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 Yeah, you spent it all on training. That's alright. I don't need stuff. Ooh. Hi, there. Hi. What's your name, Kaiju? It's funny, my, my dog's name is Kaiju. What are you doing there? Are you hammering a turkey leg? That's what it looks like. Okay, who else is here? Ah, la la. Ah, la la. Oh, what? Ooh, what's this? Ew, most of these provisions are withered with rot. That's gross. Ching! <clears throat> Hail for fate band of Tunan. The disfavored officer pounds a heavy gauntlet against his chest in a stiff but warm greeting. Were I a betting or a superstitious man, I'd say fortune must favor me today. I am not. Hi. Are you? Yeah, I'm sorry. Is that driving you nuts too? It drives me nuts that nobody that works here would fix it for you. It, it's okay. I, I mean, I could have done it. Hey, uh, can you back here? Can I? I just, I really like to use the restroom. Oh, yeah. yeah sorry, I, I like chugged a whole glass of water. Get out of here. And now I feel it. Go. Get out. Hey, what's up, everybody? How's it here? Oh, man. I gotta get down here. Uh, just, uh, no. Salveros talks like this. So, hey. Salveros talks like this. Okay. Hey. Hail, fake Ben here tuning. This disfavored officer pounds a heavy gauntlet against his chest and still a warm greeting where I bet a superstitious man. I'd say fortune must favor me today, and I am not. Hey, what's up, everybody? Are you excited for today's programming and stuff? This is weird. I've got to, like, literally bend over all the way down here to get, like, down. This way, guys, did you know today is the last day you can buy the Overlord for 2020 t-shirt? So if you're down and out about today's election and just tired with politics in general, what better way to celebrate than purchasing your very own Overlord for 2020 president? T-shirt currently available on Teespring. All proceeds going back to Hyper RPG to continue its world domination towards ensuring my presidency in the year 2020. Thank you for your support. Uh, Gauntlet, Gauntlet, Gauntlet. Uh, yeah, we've got the Marauders up on Gauntlet tonight, and then we've got Cineverse. So there's plenty of things to be excited about today. Plenty of things to be excited about. So, um, I'm not even going to try to attempt to play this game. I'm just going to stall for you guys until Malika gets back, which is very shortly. Mm, it says two days on the timer. Well, lucky for me then, I guess. But, you know, you definitely got to definitely gotta pick one up. Um, but this game's really cool. We've been watching it in the other room while working, and it's really deep, really impressive. Really? Super deep. Yes, you are indeed. Right, what do you guys think? Is she making it fun to watch? Are you guys enjoying yourselves exploring this new world? Oh, anxiety ridden. Donated 100 bits. Thank you for that. Clear that cup. No leads yet, Zinblade. We've been looking at places for two weeks now. No leads yet. Takes time. It takes time to find a home. Yeah. A new home. <coughs> Malika will make things better. I don't know what he's talking about, but okay, cool. Thanks. I'm glad that you have faith in me. Um, how's Revel going so far? I have no idea. That happened, um, yesterday, right? Did we start that yesterday? The Revlo stuff? With the carrots that you earn? Hey, rules of rules. Oh my goodness, keeping that cup full. Thank you so much. Thank you for the bits. Aw, every bit tip and follow and subscribe. And you just participating and watching in the chat room really helps us, guys. So thanks for hanging out. Oh! Uh, uh, did he read this? Uh, well, well, I bet an or superstitious man, I'd say fortune must favor me today. I'm not. But I'm pleased to meet you all the same. Now, what brings you to my little slice of personal damnation otherwise known as... This here mud and shit stinking chorus camp. Hey, Mr. Owls, oh, thank, thank you for the bits. Oh my goodness. Is it gonna make up explosion? Yeah, it is. Boom. It's it's always a lot of fun to watch. Dude, I, did I pick the right voice for this character or what? He's like totally a, a country bumpkin. All right. <clears throat> Have anything you'd like to report? Were you stationed with the chorus? You act like a punishment to be assigned with this detail, or our lives are at risk, and even. Okay, I I would say. <clears throat> 
Have you ever, uh, anything you'd like to report, soldier? Maybe you've noticed something unusual during your time here. He can'ts his head to one side, taken aback. <clears throat> what about the chorus isn't unusual. The army itself is strange. Malnourished beast, but no. No, the screamers have been mostly in order, ma'am. And yeah, this is totally, I picked the right voice. It's like random. And I haven't been spying, if that's what you implying, ma'am. Still, as a poof, she stutters you sharply, scarcely, appear, uh, scarcely appearing to breathe. Of course, even if I was, it'd be damn near impossible to learn anything from this shit, sty. Fifth Eye and those damn furies won't even loop me in enough for me to do my detail. And it's not for lack of trying on my part. Um... But whatever do you mean? <clears throat> Ooh, oh no, I lost favor with Scarlet Chorus, but you gained favor with Disfavored. Well, I'm not just here to keep a steady eye on the Oathbenders, who they give far too much freedom after cons conscripting. I'm here to be a resource for the benefit of both armies. I can provide insight regarding proper stratagem and request a stock of troops from Iron Marshal Aaron Yost for reinforcements if needed. But they won't be listened to me, nor confide in me, nor fight beside the brethren that I could request. Um, why are you stationed at the chorus? Or you act. Uh, Alright. From the way most of my days go, you'd think. I was here to row with blood chanters and scarlet furies. My post is to represent the disfavored's interest before the fifth eye and the scarlet choruses before Iron Marshal's Aranyos. Not that I've gotten to do either in much as so much as the last span. Um I guess I should empathize with this guy a little bit. Um you sound frustrated, right? <clears throat> I am <laughs> you just you know, has to take off his helmet to spit on the ground, and it puts it back over his face. You trying to have to fist fuck every fury he wants to talk to you, and that's after I try to talk them down. It's a Kairos damn mess. Uh, are there hidden, are there hidden companions or some that you can miss? I, 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 you know what? That is a good question. This guy maybe can join my team. Uh. Mm. Uh, maybe number three. Isn't it? I know I fucked up to get here. Got three days in the hole. And since little promotion goes with my new post, well, I won't be making the same mistake twice when it comes to the Iron Marshal. He juts his chin toward the distant valley. I should be out there fighting for Ash's glory, not standing here ready to run back a rapport should something ever finally fucking happen. Um, I guess, what should we do? Number one, exactly, did you do to end up here? Two, what did you think of the Scarlet Chorus? Three, have they been cooperative? I think one or three. Stare silently. Redneck voice pack? Alright, um, what do you guys think here? I think, what exactly did you do to end up here? Uh, this might, he, he might kind of react. He might be defensive about that one. Um, have they been cooperative? Seems to be a little bit more sympathetic. Um... I'm a method actor. Actually, I don't have a lot of saliva. I'm a very dry person. I feel like I'm not very sweaty, but anyways, maybe that's uh, TMI. <clears throat> I guess, have they been cooperative? <clears throat> no one tells me anything. They lack honor and discipline. Don't think they could cooperate, even if it's what they actually wanted. <clears throat> Guess I shouldn't be surprised, considering they serve the Arkin of Secrets. Duh. Um, I guess two, a keen observation. A keen observation. I'm glad you see eye to eye, ma'am. It's nice speaking with someone who doesn't try to frustrate the piss out of every... Uh, out of you ever full words. It's like they don't even care. I'm the closest thing to a friend in the disfavor they got. This is funny, considering also that my character is named Hillary Clinton. I don't know. Sorry. Just thought of that. Um. <laughs> uh, our lives are at risk, and then farewell. I guess let's just complete the little tree. 
Begging your pardon, ma'am, but I never fought a battle where my life wasn't on the line. Kind of nature of war, isn't it? Well, that was kind of fun, getting to know that character. He's warming his hands now. Got eight days to the day of swords. All right, uh, what else we got here? The archers, oh, there's still an archer here. They're just practicing. Maybe the soldier nods at you. Yeah, I wonder if you can pick up other companions around here. Okay. Let's go back in the tent. Can't okay. do that. Can't do that. All right, where are we going next then? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. I guess we could leave the camp. Oh! What have we stumbled on over here? <clears throat> Take another step and I'll sew you into the dirt. Is that good? I don't know. I don't know. I guess they're just bickering. Maybe it's that other guy's friend. Oh, 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 okay. Disfavored camp. Alright. Wait, 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 la, la, la. Wah! Whoa! Guys, this is a big map here. Where are we going? So we're at Venrian's Well. Should we go to the Contested Lands or the Stone Sea? Can we go there? The Haven. Hmm. No, we're st we have to stay here still. Hmm. I feel like I ran out of things to do here. Should we go back to where we came? Yeah, no. We still have many days till uh the day of swords. Oh dude, back to that crying statue. Alright. Swords. Where are you? Going back here. Howdy. All right, cool. Kairos would have not accepted the surrender. I guess they're still pissed off about that choice. All right, do 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 do. What's going on here? Let's talk to you. We sing the anthem of pain. All right, okay. Oh yeah, it seems it seems like uh it's kind of the way I left. Oh. How did I forget this? I'm going to take all the things. Hmm, I wonder if you can equip. How does that work? All right. So, uh this is a journal. And do -do 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 character sheet. All right, this is Hillary Clinton. Will we be seeing the Mute Owl again sometime, Malika? Actually, I really liked, uh... Hi there! Yep. Is there a problem? Yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and, you know, exit that, too. Okay. Um... Thank you, Overlord. <laughs> it's Dropbox notifications, yeah, sorry about that. Um... Let's see, this is Hillary Clinton. We are level one still, but we are kind of uh, two thirds of the way there. We got, uh, what is this? We got a lot of resolve. Um, and Edict of Execution. What about Verse? Oh, Verse is a very good Mark's person. It's got a little bit more, uh, Quickness. Cool. 
Ooh, and lots of uh, effects there. <clears throat> Da, 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 da. Yeah, you can see also the uh, your friends in Steam here. I don't know if we can uh, take down those notifications too. Oh, game is paused. But yeah, anxiety ridden. I really liked Owl Boy, and um, I have been in contact with their PR person. Oh no no no! Where's my friend? No no, where'd you go? Oh there you go. Um, so maybe we might. We just might play that game again. I, I liked it a lot. <clears throat> La, da, da, da. So, where do you go after Oh, I guess you have to go over the bridge, no? Or this way? I hope you're having a wonderful week. Day. I know a lot of stressful things are happening in our country, but after today, it'll all be over. And we can go back to caring about each other, right? Do, 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 do. Whoa! No, 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 that's not what I wanted. I want to stay here. No. No, I go back. Do, do, do. Okay, here we go. No. I'm going this way. It seems like I have to go... Oh, here it is. Is this... Okay. Hmm. Are you guys eating? You guys are always talking about food in the chat room and I'm like, Oh, I wanna eat. I wanna have a burger. Okay. I feel like I'm missing something here. Wait, where is everybody? Uh-oh. Everybody's gone. You see this? Oh wait, wait. No, they they were just hadn't loaded. I was kind of freaking out a little bit there. I was like, "What happened to all the characters? What happened?" Watch yourself, Fate Binder. Can you talk to any of these people who are tied up? No dice. Oh, rest. I'll do that. No, wait, I don't need to rest. Baz and Red Train, conversation in hectic whispers. <clears throat> do you feel strange? Yeah. Ever since the Fate Binder spoke, Kairos Edict, I've felt like bugs were crawling under my skin. They noticed your approach with mixed expressions. Oh, didn't see you there, Fate Binder. So, anything we can do for you? Um, I guess we never did tell me about yourself, Baz. I was a cell sword at the beck and call of fat merchants. Just another dented face in the crowd. After too many years of spilling blood in local skirmishes, I realized I was only killing time. Ah, uh, did I have a good weekend? Yes, I had a good weekend. Thank you, and yes, there were a lot of uh, wonderful streamers doing extra life, and we uh, we did that last week when we were last week. Yeah, and Zach and I were streaming. That was great. Uh, then Cairo showed me a better way, unity, purpose. Now I fight for something, not just someone. Been watching the Scarlet Furies practicing my blade work. Not good enough to join them yet, but I could show you a thing or two. Tell me about your time in the Scarlet Chorus. Reg and I were conscripted at the Gates of Judgment. He used to fight for Ocon, me for Azure. Baz chuckles, sketching her thin and thought. <clears throat> How many fights we survived so far? Eleven. <clears throat> Eleven? Reg begins to count in series across his fingers. No, no, fourteen. I count each day in Sunder separately. 
The choruses. Baz looks about the camp and shrugs. Not as bad as it smells. The strong like me and Reg, we're allowed to take what we want, what we deserve. We live only as well as our strength affords us as it can be. Um, Baz, let's see what you can teach me. Let's start, Spinder. All right, cool. Oh, I can, I don't have money. Uh, I don't have money. How do I gain money? I'm so poor. Oh. All right. I hope you find y uh, camp to your satisfaction. All right, cool. I've talked to all those people. You can talk to this guy. All right. Oh, let's select both of them. Um. I'm trying to combat it by making food for my husband's D&D group that's meeting, especially for tonight. Oh, that's cool. I, you know, do you guys, um, in the chat room, I know a lot of you are tabletop RPG players and a lot of you aren't. And do you have any advice for people like me who are trying to find a group of people to play with? Um, because I just bought my first set of dice last night. Look. Yep. I never had dice before of my own, so I bought them last night. Um, <coughs> Hi. All right. Sorry, I can't. So I w I'm kind of stuck here, guys. What do you What do you think I should do next? Da -da. Da -da. Do, 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 do. Um, a little thumper appreciation going on in the chat room. I'm always Can't do for that. that. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like every way out of here is back to the map. You've got all these people there already, Malika just asked, and you'll have about 50 people willing to throw dice with you whenever you want. Oh, that's... that's nice. That sounds nice. Alright. Speaking of food, guys, I have a secret I want to share with you. When I make my smoothies in the morning, I put, like, healthy shit in here, like bananas and berries and some kind of, like, vegan protein powder and stuff. But I also put a spoonful of Nutella. It's really good. Uh, with regards to tabletop games and finding people played with some critters, and that was fun asking friends, probably playing on Roll20. Uh... Okay, cool. <clears throat> Malika is going to join up one of those RPG streams with her shiny new dice. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just bought some because I'd never had any of my own. Alright, where does this go? Oh, you know what? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Eh, go back. I don't know if I, like, really explored this place. Yeah, I know. Megaloblaze Mon. It's like my secret. Don't tell Zach, okay? Zach doesn't understand why I like Nutella so much. Can't do that. Can't do that. Oh. Can't do that. Hi. See that? Oh, see that? Yeah, I see something. Now we need a nifty dice bag for your new dice to live in. Yeah, that would be cool. Can't do that. She's so stern. Can't do that. He glances over his shoulder, making Brie eye contact with you, froze his brow, and turns back to his contemplation. When I received the missive that said the fire starter was coming to the well, I thought at last we'll torch these fucking swine. But no. <clears throat> Excuse me, what voice did we give Graven Ash? I forget. <clears throat> 
When I received the missive that the fire starter was coming to the well, I thought at last we'll torch these fucking swine. But no, I was foolish to count on such things. Dude, you know, I should totally do a pirate voice for one of these characters to make fun of Zack. That sounds fun. You guys have to remind me. Um... Seeing as you provided the disfavored with nearly a, near, a year of your life, ensuring that Lethian's Crossing turns out iron for our war effort, I suppose a little banter is the least I owe you. Just a reminder, guys, every five subscribers at Hyper RPG, we give away a Steam key to a random active member in the chat room. Every 50 followers at Hyper RPG, we give a random Steam key to a at random active member in the chat room. So uh, if you're thinking about hitting that follow or subscribe button, do it now, do it good, and we'll love you for it. Yes. <clears throat> Malika, do I have a YouTube channel? No, but I have been on a YouTube channel. Uh, I mean, I have a YouTube channel, but I'm not a YouTuber. Uh, what's on your mind? Uh, option number one. Your regiment here in Vendrin's Well is small, even by disabled standards. Two, you need to know why conquering few lonely tearsmen is so impossible a task. Three, what become of the warriors you left to garrison this region years ago. Four, what can you tell me of Karen, the late Arkan of Stone? Five, your distrust of the voices of Narat is plain as day. How- Oh! I like this. <clears throat> your distrust of the voices of Narat is plain as day. How did this antipathy begin? <clears throat> I'm, I think I'm gonna give this guy the pirate voice. He looks the most pirate-like of all the people we've met, so- <clears throat> Arg! Our rivalry is an old one. The voices of Narat served Kairos before I did, and I believed he hates me for being roughly the same status in the eyes of the Overlord. Despite the younger Arkan, he seems to be led to lead an army through the tears. <clears throat> this war seems to have brought out the worst in us. We've disagreed on strategy at every turn. Uh. Hmm. You think his madness is something as trivial as envy? I think that's a bit self-absorbed. Let's speak of something else. All right, no, no, let's let's. Um. <clears throat> oh, this is interesting. I, I actually trust the voices of Narat, but let's just choose this to see what he he'll say. No, oh, I have gained favor with him. I'm glad you concur. I feel my paranoia around him is somewhat justified. Uh, your regiment here in Vendorian's well is small, even by disabled standard, uh, standards. That's like this. You need to know why conquering a few lonely tearsmen is so impossible a task. Uh, what became of the warriors you left to garrison this region so, uh, this years ago? What can you tell me of Karen, the late Archon of Stone? All right, let's go. I think this is one where you want to go through all of them, but let's start with number three. <clears throat> I too have questions about that. The Arkan inhales sharply, his posture becoming defensive. His cold blue eyes stare at you with an unlinking intensity. Um, I, w I wonder if Hyper RPG has ever thought about having a one-shot with thumpers. Uh, I can't speak for Hyper RPG, but I like that idea and I will think about it for you. Um, I have reason to believe that when the garrison was taken, this disfavored was slain, not by the Oathbreakers, and though, arg, I knew in my bones, I cannot prove the voices of Narad. Is that fault? Uh, well, what's your reason to believe such a thing? If this is true, the Arkan of Justice must be conformed. That's a very serious charge. We'll have to tell the voices of Narat. And let's speak of something else. Um, let's go with number one. Just, you know, give him the benefit of the, of the doubt. Let's try to understand him a little bit more as a character. <clears throat> Arr. It is well known, matey, that I can protect my soldiers from harm, even if they are beyond my sight. What is less known is that I sense every cut, every kill, every illness. No harm to my soldiers escapes my notice. Uh, what's the PS4 game similar to this? And it's an RPG, obviously. And hello, chat. An RPG. An RPG. Hello. Um, it was like your your name is a lot lighter than other people's names in the chat room, but it, Ant Logan. 
Hello, Aunt Logan. I, I don't know what um, you're thinking about, but maybe some people in the chat room might uh, be able to uh, help you out there. Of the warriors posted at the Vendrian's Well Citadel, only two were slain in the uprising, but a few others died earlier, and horrible, painful magic was involved. My son was one of those who died Arg, under such unusual circumstances. For a second, the Archon of War trembles, his eyes widening with a faraway stare. Um... Uh, lore... What is this lore 30 here? Lore skill determines a character's ability to decipher information. Yeah, let's try that. I don't know if 30 is high, but... We'll just, okay. Uh, or actually, maybe we should ask him about his son. Yeah? Right? Yeah, Dark Alliance and Baldur's is kind of in the style of this game. Hey, Prosperous Card just reset for the last five months! If Malika is still here, I guess I'll stick around for another month. Aw, thank you, Prosperous Card. Thank you. You're really appreciated here. Everybody, everybody in the Thumper family is super appreciated, and you help us keep this channel going. So thank you for renewing your sub. Yes, my son, Brennix, was... <laughs> Brennix, the pirate, was posted with the garrison, but felt his death happen elsewhere but, but after the battle. But all my legion or family, that is, he is my flesh until remain irrelevant. Archon brow furrows, his face turns away. Um... Uh, maybe I should say, if this is true, the Archon of Justice must be informed. Because it just told you, like, dude, his son was killed. No, no. I will make no claim that cannot be hard handily proved. I appreciate your sense of duty, but not yet. Uh, I guess I'm, I don't want to say this, but I don't want to say, like, let's talk about something else. So let's just see what happens when I click this. Oh, no. But I have gained wrath. The old general's face turns into a frown and a long rumble escapes him. Wait a second, if you are a pirate and you have a rumble, like, wh like what do you say besides ARG? Then you are wasting my time and goodwill. Be gone, fate miner. Go make yourself useful or something. The Archinivore orders you out of the tent with a dismissive wave of the hand. Maybe that was not the right move there. Maybe I should have just been like, oh, let's talk about something else. Might have eh. Alright. What did you guys think? Woo! Hey! Arg! Arg! What's up? Um, I just Hello. wanted to say real quick, I noticed as you were losing favor, a cool thing I saw- I don't think they can hear me. A cool thing I saw in yeah, a- Yeah, what does wrath mean? I actually don't really understand that as much as I want to. I don't fully understand sure. it either. Does that it is a great question. Room, yes. You know? Let yeah. us know. Hit us up. Devs, get mm -hmm. at us. Um, it's like there is no disfavor, but you earn wrath, so it's like yeah. wrath against you. Yes, so they feel yeah. wrath towards you. Okay, so here's the cool thing though about those standings sure. is that you actually get different abilities mm -hmm. um, depending on how you track with each faction. Sure. And so it's like you don't just get an ability yeah. if you're favorable, yeah. but if you have a lot of wrath, you get a different ability with that uh, faction because of that relationship with that faction, which I think is really smart and awesome. That's, that's pretty cool. How do you look at those? Is it like this? stuff yeah so it should be or oh well, this is the first time i'm looking at this oh you, you don't got no points yet oh how do i earn points and money i, I found out i'm very broke i think you gotta sell Kill some me. junk and get some level ups oh here we go reputation oh, wait, wait, right here no here yes there okay. we go so see there's an ability ho, ho, ho. oh okay what did you just say ho 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 oh ho, ho. dude that should be the next voice i do santa ho 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 <laughs> Um, also, I'm gonna kill the shit out of the Marauders tonight. Oh, That's all. Okay, cool. That's right. He was just talking about the gauntlet. If you haven't ever watched, it is Paizo Pathfinder meets American Gladiator, and we have the Marauders on tonight, and they will be playing for the gold. All right. So, how did this game look? I, I don't know. All right. So wait, Does, I I uh, have more favor with the disfavored. And I might do this thing, which is pretty cool. A a aerial effect. Of course, I have no favor with the Vendrian Guard because I killed them, but I'm earning wrath. 
And oh, I, I might have an unnerving presence. I want to gain that. How do I get more wrath with Fenrir Guard? That is cool. Hmm. <laughs> Fear. First was disappointed by your orderly, honorable ways. Oh, so is she afraid of me? Project intense flames towards verse, which she catches on her blades and spins into an aura of, of uh, breathing flames. Wow. Ah. So I have I have more favor with Graven Ash, but also a lot of wrath. And I have no wrath with the voices of Naran. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Pirates talk like everyone else, only with more rocking motion. I disagree. I think it's actually uh, the stereotypical pirate voices sounds a little bit Scottish to me, maybe a little, I don't know. Or Irish, I don't know. Uh, what about- Can't oh. do that. Wait, wait, is there, what, what is this? What is this right here? Can't do that. Okay. Sorry, can't. I can't. No. Okay, you can't. You can't, sorry. Sorry. Sorry for, oh, what's this? Whoa. Oh, water. I love some water. What's what's over here? Some more things, dude. In the sorry, I can't. Sorry, sorry, I can't. I can't do that either. I can't. Okay. Can't do that. Uh, this guy keeps saying the same things now. Okay. I wonder if I. I need to explore back here. I didn't go back here earlier. Malika, the ca classic pirate accent actually came from the West Country of England. Well, the more you know. Thank you. The pungent odor emanates from the sack slung over the shoulders back. I, I wonder if there is a dead rotten body in there. Okay. Same day. Not happening. Not happening? No dice. Nope. Okay, where are we going? I feel like I'm a little stuck. Just ex like all you can do is explore until the day of swords. What do you guys think? Welsh, yeah, maybe. But there's also like a uh, gruffness to it, you know, and um, like you have a belly. I don't think anybody without a belly would not talk like that. Uh. Cool. Oh, you. You, the samurai skeleton person, you. <clears throat> Don't just coddle the impact. Push back with your shield. Take in the momentum. Iron Marshal Aranios finds a field commander of the disfavored pounds her fist in the air as she calls out, to the warriors in the training field. I said eyes on your opponent's waistline. If you spend more than a glance checking his footwork, you've lost. <laughs> I always thought pirates looked around, uh, sounded like Keith Richards. You tricked us, Johnny Depp. Every answer is Johnny Depp. Thank you. Everybody remembers that joke. You know, I, um, during that episode of Trivia Hops, I was really hoping somebody would bring up the movie Johnny the horror movie that Johnny Depp was in and that's why I thought like it would be really funny if I just said Johnny Depp over and over again until eventually I was actually right but uh, that's how it worked out <clears throat> Morticel I'm British and I have done some research on pirates hence why I know where the accent originated it was where most English sailors and therefore pirates came from um uh that is interesting, but I will I'll also say that um, there are pirates all over the world, and um, I think the pirates that we see in like kind of media are the pirates that we're thinking of. But there, you know, there are also pirates from from every corner of the globe. It just means you steal things on boats, right? <clears throat> the disfavored officer turns towards you, adjusting her pale golden surcoat. As she clears her throat. Need to stay on top of the troops or their skills will rust. It's for their own good even if they don't believe it. Right. Uh, it was mentioned you're short on warriors and need help. What's the situation? 
How are your warriors reacting to the edict? Car oh, you know what? I, they, these are both. I'm gonna click number two. <clears throat> you know what? I I don't think I have her voice right. I think she she should have something else. She's very cool. She likes money. Five glorious months. It's been fun so far. Malika makes games so fun and bizarre. She does voice as well. I have something to tell. She's an awesome thumper and shining Aww, star. Thank you so Hashtag much, Prosperous. Hashtag thumper pride. Aw, thank you. Thank you so much. That was really kind. Isn't that creative, guys? Wasn't that good? That was good. Thank you so much. Thanks for helping Hyper RPG stay afloat. I feel like there are a lot of pirate fans in the chat room. Yeah? Um, <laughs> Johnny Depp. What did Johnny Depp sound like? He has, you know, I, he has like his own voice, you know, it's just kind of like a, some other people. The US stereotypical pirate comes from the Caribbean circa 1650, 1725. Most of them were British and roamed up the East Coast. That's interesting. The more you know, the bunny pirates. All right. <clears throat> Kairos ultimatum has a camp on edge, some with dread. But most are rife with anticipation. She points to the men sparring in the field. We have a lot of brothers and sisters to avenge. And the warriors are easy. You're eager to take out some aggression. I, for one, choose to see the edict as a blessing, for it forces the generals to act. And we're long overdue. Speaking of accents, do you guys know the transatlantic accent? It's completely fabricated. It was made up for movies in movies. <clears throat> uh, it was mentioned you're short on warriors and need help. What's the situation? I have brigades amassing along Placid, Echo Call, and Little Tooth Crossings. The Thundering God may be able to hold one bridge, but they cannot hold against a concerted three-prong attack. I have no right to give you orders, but... Her words falter, a short <coughs> cough breaking her flow. But... <coughs> we all die to Kairosidic should we fail, so I am not about to let my pride blind me to the value of good health. So I, let's, you know, I like this uh, skeleton pirate lady. Let's go with her. I will assist. Um, uh, because, you know, just kind of walking around talking to people at this point. Then our plan just might work. She holds her gauntlet, shifting her eyes uh, in the uh, metal articulations. We are loath to work with those who do not share our training and our values, but we know that Tunin, the adjudicator, selects only the most capable minds for his court, and I trust you will honor us all in the field. <laughs> um, there's accents and dialects and dialects. Exterminate. I thank you for that Doctor Who joke. I love Doctor Who. That's all I have to say right now, but yeah, thank you. Antio will be leading the charge at Echo Call Crossing. Assisting, you will be Barrack of the Stone Shields. She points to a heavily armored soldier standing sentry at the edge of the training field. Before you ask, no, the forge bound weren't sloshed on Dappleseed when they fitted his armor. He survived the quick full force of, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> he survived the full force of the Edict of Storms. And this armor doesn't exactly come off. Tactically, it's quite brilliant, but otherwise, it's something of a curse. Uh, tapping her helmet twice, Erinio signals the hulking presence. Beric, come meet the Fate Binder. Ah. Uh, 
We know com uh, Zach is a big comic book guy. Is there any that you're reading, Malika? I just picked up the first two issues of Glitter Bomb because I was on that episode of Graphic Content, which airs tomorrow. That's right, comic book fans. If you like comic books, definitely watch our show tomorrow uh, where we talk comic books. And um, Bronze made a great sale for that. So I have them. I haven't read it yet. And they also have two um, kind of books of silk on my nightstand. And... That's what I'm reading right now in terms of comic books. Um, but I have completely different tastes than Zack, I think. Beric. Um, the soldier that steps up to you better resemble an amalgamation of rusted blades and mismatched pieces of armor fused into a vaguely human shape. He reeks of sweat, feces, and whatever oil treatment keeps him flexible. Uh, okay. Fate binder. The Iron Marshal has tasked okay, me with he has keeping different you alive, voice. All right, cool. and I have no intention of disappointing her. That should be enough assurance for anyone. Um, an honor. Likewise, good binder. Uh, the soldier heaves a heavy iron arm into a salute, his whole body clanging as he wraps his gauntlet against the twisted sheets of metal that form his breastplate. Dude, that actually, now that I... You know, it's pointed out. It's a really cool piece of armor. He's like metal tree dude. Beric, is that you under there? I had no idea you were in Vendrian's well. Fatebinder, do you know this walking anchor? Uh, one of the voices should be Rai Rai. Uh, I don't know about that. I like the Darth Vader suggestion. Uh, $25 for an accent or voice direction is the little game we're playing today. Um, but... I'm, I also want to do Santa for some reason. <laughs> I think it would be pretty funny, and I think that's not one that people do, or one of Santa's helpers. I think that could be funny. I like Darth Vader. That's a pretty good one. Um, uh, Beric, is that you under there? I had no idea you were in the Vendrian's well. Fake Binder, do you know this walking anchor? Uh... I I know him as well as anyone I knew during the conflict. That can change. When the tears are fully under our command, I'll take you to whatever passes for a nice watering voice. hole like in it. this forsaken country. We'll drink the local swill to honor the fallen. Hmm. We'll drink the local swill. Forget I like the that. Fallen. I know a it's great brothel attractive. in Lethian's Crossing where we can watch something rise, then fall, then rise again. This level of retention is incredibly difficult to replicate. It can't be imitated. All right. Very well. <clears throat> A great brothel? What? I want to go there. <clears throat> the Feybinder will be joining us for the push across the river. I figured an extra hand might help. And more importantly, if my worries come true and the chorus tries to impede the mission, we have an observer from the court on our side. What about Santa Claus dressed out wife? That's pretty funny too. Better to work with the Honorable Binder than some chorus children. Ah, his armor creaks. That's, that would be annoying to fight a war with creaky armor, wouldn't it? I ask that Beric accompany you there to arbitrate the cooperation between his company and the Scarlet Chorus. Oh, Echo Call Crossing is now unlocked. See, finally I can go somewhere else on the map. Beric, you've been without a cohort since the last battle of Stalwart. It's a time we give you a task more worthy than hauling wagons and leading training drills. She plants her hands on her hips and speaks in clipped official terms. <clears throat> Ash has designed you in the Fatebinder's service. You ought to assume that this task is ongoing until we find a more permanent spot for you. Which could very well mean the swiftly approaching end of this war. Oh, when the fate binders dismiss you. Is that understood? I want some laughing. Oh, Rogue 7259! Thank you for following us at Hyper RPG and welcome to the Thumper family. <clears throat> Beric regards the Iron Marshal in oppressive silence. An oppressive silence. That's an order, Beric. She shakes her head and sighs. Hmm. Returning her focus to you. He can be stubborn as pulling a spire. Oh, dude, this is like my first, my my second, like, friend that's gonna be in my party. He can be as stubborn as pulling a spire out of the earth. 
But he's a good soldier. I hope you don't mind the company. Uh... I, yeah, I, this is, I, I would be honored. This would be great. Yes. Yes. I have gained favor. I have gained loyalty. Dude, the disfavor is liking me real now. It's probably because they're dumb and I'm smart. Um, excellent. I'll look forward to your success in the field. All right. Yay. Quest updated. We're going to meet with Antio, AKA Antonio. Cause I, uh, no. All right, cool. Let's go. Let's go. Let oh, look, it's me. Oh, you. Let's be off. Oh, this is awesome. Look at him. Look at that armor. Look at that butt. This is great. Okay, come on, guys. Do 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 do. Wait, where? I need everybody to be together so I can select them all. All right. Wait, where am I? Come here. Oh, here we go. I left my um, my main character, Hillary Clinton, over there, even though I was having a conversation. <clears throat> Hi, Malika. How are you finding Tyranny? Dude, this game is so deep. So deep and so interesting. Like, even these, like, rando, like, little minor NPC-like characters, they have, like, so much going on. It's, uh, it's really cool. And I'm kind of a little afraid to play this game because yes. I feel like I could pour a lot of hours into it. I heard that there are over 60,000 um, lines of dialogue and that every time you play the game, because of your different choices, um, it can kind of end up differently for you. So it's, uh, it's if you like that kind of deep, really rich world building, I definitely think this is something that you should pick up. And, um, ah! no! I'm gonna deal with the ambush! Um, uh, so you can preload it already. You can get it on GOG and I think Steam and, um... <laughs> look at that But Yeah, I know, he just, That's he far looks enough, cool. Finder. Dude, she's totally one of Santa's helpers. A woman's voice booms from atop a nearby outcropping. Flashes of an aquamarine body paint peek out from under her least fitting traveler's garb and her... Outfit is just soon in braids and knots of sailor's line. Or maybe she's a pirate. I don't know. Uh, flanked on either side, the woman leans an elaborate bladed staff, pulsing with arcane energy. A swath of blue fabric rests draped over her arm. Okay. In accordance with ancient customs north and south, I offer and request a delay of blade. There are matters we must discuss without fear of reprisal. A delay of blade. That's you're very poetic, Ebb. Is that why your name is Ebb? Because your your dialogue just ebbs and flows, like poetry. Um, the woman bows deeply, lowering her head in a practice display of etiquette. The warriors by there remain in ready stance, their nerves clearly on edge. Um, maybe I should glare silently. I like that it's always an option. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. You would detain a fate binder of the Archon of Justice unwise As unwise as setting foot on our lands with dreams of conquest. Oh. If you're afraid of a few words, go ahead and run. Idiots and very young children are often afraid of me. So I understand if you need to retreat and soil yourself in private. Whoa! Did you just hear what she said? She's like, uh, you better get the fuck out, otherwise you're gonna shit your pants. Damn, I really like this lady. I want to be on her team. Uh, maybe the good guys are actually a lot better than bad guys. Um, I know, burn, right, Hootmere? Um, in accordance... Uh, all right. Uh, uh, you know, let's just try option number one. As is our custom, we are ready to kill to defend our lands, but we kill only in fair battle. We don't slay our prisoners. We know this isn't Kairos's way, but we must have hope. Well, kill it. Oh, the bit cup. Well, you know, youth numbers like to keep those bit cups. A few of my kin have gone missing, and though they may Somebody have perished, just one bit, though, I have I'm to sure inquire on the off everywhere. chance they still live. If Captain Tarkas Deimos still lives, we would negotiate for his release. Uh, hell no. We got lots of prisoners, and you're going to become our prisoners. 
All right, let's see. Um, lie. Tarkus is dead. Tarkus Demos is in the chorus. N is with the chorus now. Tarkus Demos. Is oh, dude, dude, we should tell this. Excuse me, I'm not gonna call her a B, but you know what I mean when I think it. Uh, dude, we should tell her she's joined the dark side. Sorry, he's joined the dark side. Yeah, all right. Then if we see him again, it will have to be as enemies. Ooh. She's afraid, right? That's pretty cool, right? Like, okay. If I may make one more inquiry, what of Palox Tyrell? Did he survive? Oh, dude. No, we should tell. We should tell her that he died. That would make her more scared. I think. We'll find out what she's offering. Uh. Maybe I should say, I knew not of this person. It's just go more ambiguous. And I imagine nobody will ever again. Fine. That's all I need to know. Cool. My apologies, Fatebinder. I had a terrible feeling this errand was in vain from the start. Hmm. I had no expectations that our friends could be saved, as I'm sure the time for swapping prisoners is long gone. But at least I know of what became of them. That'll have to be enough. Aww, I feel so bad for her. Do you guys feel bad? I feel like so bad even though I'm playing the bad character. I'm like, oh, that's sad. I just told, you know, like somebody you looked up to that you try to swap. Uh, he joined the dark side and other guy you asked about, he did. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> hey, Simbini2011. Thanks for following us at Hyper RPG and welcome to the Thumper family. Hey, can you veteran thumpers give a warm thumper welcome to all our new followers that have been following today make them feel um you know fluffy and warm inside like a bunny right <clears throat> or not you can just make them feel you know whatever whatever i don't know i'm not gonna tell you what to do uh I, da, 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 da. sorry that you yeah i have some questions for you yeah, okay, let's, you know, I feel bad for her. Let's just bow deeply. Then all that remains is for me to thank you for hearing me out. Hmm. In accordance with our ancient customs north and south, let us part with peaceful accord. Um, what is with the numbers? Oh, yeah. Um, in, okay, in accordance with our ancient customs north and south, let, all right. I guess we just keep we'll going do. here. We'll do. Follow her. Just a reminder, guys. Every 50 followers we have to this channel, um, we give away a Steam key to a random active member in the chat room. And every 5 subscribers to this channel, we give away a Steam key to a random active member in the chat room. Also, I don't know if you heard, like, this is old news to me, but it's still new news to other people. If you have an Amazon Prime account, sorry, I can't. Um, you can't, can't do that. We can't. No, can't do that. We'll go this way. Um, if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can link it to your Twitch account, and um, you can get a free subscriber token to give away to your favorite channel. Uh, we would really appreciate it if you are an Amazon Prime member to link up your Twitch account and subscribe to Hyper RPG. For those of you who've already done that, um. The subscription doesn't auto renew. So if you did that like about a month ago, um, you have about 15 days to resubscribe to the channel, and it really, really helps us. And we don't care if it's like a regular sub or Twitch Prime sub; it helps us both ways. So, it's a little FYI. And dude, you want that Amazon Prime account when the holidays come? Cause who wants to deal with the mobs of Black Friday? Dude, who are you? I want to talk to you. The Oathbreakers were well prepared. Had we not bickered over strategy, would have. Oh no! The bad guys are dead! Oh no! I'm wounded, but that never stopped me. Just let me catch my breath. Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah! By the way, if you're a student on the Prime Trial, you only get one token. Oh! 
All right. Empty the cup, but you still get a host lot of other benefits. Dude, I saved so much money in college buying my books used um, off of Amazon and websites like that. <clears throat> oh, there. Oh, there's surrender. Welcome to the club, I'll guys. I'll do it for the north. Welcome to the dark side. Hey, Jelly Phil Donut. Thanks for the resub for the last three months. All right, let's explore a little bit. Oh, wait, I want... Wait, I need... I need that. Wait, where, where, where's everybody else? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna select all of them. Alright. Let's go. Oh, ooh, you look cool. You look like Can't one of the that. Scarlet Chorus. Can't do that. I, yeah, yeah, we can. I want to talk to him. We don't want to do him. We just want to talk. <clears throat> we have scouts hiding on the fair bank. I can just barely see them. That's cool. Dude, he should have had the Santa voice. That would have been funny. Alright. It's just because you get six months of Amazon Prime as a student. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Do, 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 do. This is a disgrace. The Oathbreakers must have had quite a laugh. Oh no, tragedy. I feel bad. I feel bad for the dark side. Alright, Antio, you're gonna have Santa's voice. <clears throat> Yo ho ho. Merry Christmas. And back over here. Maintain defensive posture. <laughs> Does Santa have the same voice as a pirate almost? Now that I think of it. But he's like jolly. He's like a jolly pirate. Dude. Santa is totally a pirate. That's where he gets all the toys from. My mind just got blown. Alright. Back over here. Maintain defensive posture. When did the disfavored commander clutches his- Oh no! He's hurt! He takes deep breath. I guess I have to do the hurt voice. Gathers his thoughts. His focus is on the scattered, wounded men around him. He has yet to notice you. Oh, bitter quip! My favorite character! Your plan has been a rousing success. Most of our troops dead. A bridge destroyed. And the Vendrian Guard push us back to where we started. Ladies and gentlemen, the finest the North has to offer. And your next act. This guy is so sarcastic. <clears throat> I needed those furies on point. Don't mock my strategy. After working against it, we could have taken them. Uh, I'm gonna remain silent and see what happens. You... <clears throat> Did I forget? Did I give him like kind of a British accent? Um, you just wasted dozens of lives walking to a trap. I'll mock your idiocy as much as I want, so long as it continues to amuse me. Uh, what is happening? Shouldn't you be on the other side of the bridge? Yeah. We tried <sighs> to rush the western bridge, blow for blow. We had them running, but. But halfway across. Halfway across the whole damn river just... Uh, the bloody chanter gesticulates, flailing for words. Just lurched up. The cursed Matani swallowed the bridge and almost everyone on it. Only real soldiers ha have left the Scarlet Furies that I quite wisely directed into a flanking position. Uh, Sin Sin Sintester class has a Dutch accent. Oh yeah, that's a, you know, that's probably a, a probably good, yeah. A few of us kept our footing, but the advantage was lost. We had to fall back. As we did, the Oathbreakers surged down the East Bridge. Hey, Mephisto Pearson! Thanks for following us at Hyper RPG and welcome to the Thumper Family. Numbers make our new follower feel nice and warm and welcome, as a bunch of bunnies could. A few of us kept our footing, but the advantage was lost. We had to fall back as we did. The Oathbreakers surged down the East Bridge. We held ground until they fled back across the river, but now we're back where we started with only a fraction. Oh, for the strength. Guys, I just want to remind you, after this, we have the gauntlet. American 
gladiator meets Paizo Pathfinder in a quest for our for the gold. Today's special guests are the Marauders from DFA, and after that we have Cineverse. That's right, we talk about all the movies in the universe on Cineverse with Augie, Adam, Hector, and Erica. They're fantastic, and that live stream actually comes from Los Angeles. You guys were uh, the ones who helped us expand Hyper RPG into LA, and we're looking to get a new studio to take them out of Adam's bedroom and just expand and grow Hyper RPG. And we can't do any it without you, and all the tips, bits, follows, and subs are what make it possible excuse me mm-hmm it's no little bunny welcome a few of us uh wait wait I, I already read that part um antonio's in command you should have concentrated forces as you directed as a member of the school of tides is alive and working with the Vendorian guard i assure you she's the culprit oh and a direct attack was a dumb idea bitter quip was why to hold a reserve you know what i bitter quip is such a smug bastard let's just say that let's see how he reacts <clears throat> you have gained favor with Scarlet Chorus. You have gained wrath. Oh no, they're just favored. Hey, Mayo84, thanks for being a follower in training. And welcome to the Thumper family. Everybody in the chat room, give the Thumpers a warm welcome. Uh, and now, this is how the conquest ends. Kairos Edict slays all of us because cousins marry, Antio is born, and our overlord's finest waddle into a trap. You're the chosen one, Antio. Kairos chose you to get us all killed. Infinite wisdom, my gangrenous nut. We had forced our strength into a perfect lunge. We could have crossed the bridge before the enemy knew what was killing them. I think he's not that hurt because he's been speaking a lot, so I'm going to probably slow down with the gasping. <clears throat> but it's not too late. We can use the Scarlet Furies, too. No, fool, stop suggesting we get my gang killed. Are you working for the Oathbreakers? We should wait until the enemy is no longer in high alert. Antonio is still in command. Follow his orders or find the next person in your gang willing to do so. Oh, I like that. Just push the blame onto somebody else. Number two, if Antio's plan isn't a good one, why would you suggest instead? Or number three, can we sit and wait for the Kairos Edicts to kill us or we can do something? Normal Malika would say number three. Troll Malika says, uh, number one. Yeah, number one? Okay, let's go number one. I think number one's more exciting. <clears throat> oh, I have gained some wrath with Skylar Chorus. Did you see that? Look at his little, um, like, profile. He's like, oh, how dare they? <gasps> no! The chanter reels back, face to gas. His plan was a failure. I won't order my men to commit suicide so this pawns can satisfy his honor and fail once more. All right, so he's going to run off or something. He's got the face pump. Dude, you know, with his hand covered up like that, I think he kind of looks like Zack. He's like, mm, no, I don't think so. Mm -mm, no. <clears throat> I could reveal their location to the enemy. Um, you know what? I think somebody said uh, Earth Feeder in the chat room a little while ago, so maybe we could try this. <clears throat> I could reveal their location to the enemy. Then your furies would have no chance but to fight <sighs> the fight. I, that wasn't really good. I, I need to watch more Star Wars. Um, the commander claps his gauntlet to his face. Are we really <sighs> coming to this for the love of Kairos already? Signal your warriors. <sighs> uh, number one, perhaps if you had helped recovering the cost of, of inciting replacement warriors to your gang. Two, how about you just... Tell me what you'd like in exchange for your cooperation, athletics, not met, and subterfuge. I hope, I suppose, I'm not quite sure when it says like subterfuge 30, is that using your skill or do you gain that skill, right? I don't know. Um, I suppose I'll have to tell the voices of Narat that his agents were soft and kind. Dude, I want to do that. That sounds funny. You gain 18 subterfuge skill experience. Oh, I guess so you gain skills when you, when you do that. All right, that's cool. <clears throat> huh? Do you think your words would change? I mean, to say perhaps the Fate Binder is right, Antio is in charge. 
When you meet next with the Archons, you will tell the voices I was instrumental in the success of the crossing. Dude, this guy is totally in love with the voices, right? Don't you think so? Am I the only one saying this? Am I just slashing characters as I play this game? I He's like blushing. He's always talking about him. He's trying to impress him. All right. <clears throat> Just like that, the disfavored warrior crumples his face in his palm. No, wait, I won't question it. Yes, th thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, so you, I guess you gain points and you lose them. <clears throat> yes, you had been, been, you'd best be thanking me and the fate binder. We, we save the disfavored time and time again. What's once more? Listen up, for this to work, my furies need a moment to, to get out of cover. Fate binder, you need to run up to the east bridge don't get yourself killed just draw their attention i'll signal my furies to send a rope across while you have them occupied wait a second i'm not even strong enough to climb a rope this might be bad um there's no time to waste let your uh let's hope your gang delivers antio returns to you nodding with a heavy frown did you see that he it's like a gorilla he just <clears throat> thank you fate minder and good hunting all right so I have to go to the eastern bridge, north, south, east, west. I guess this is east, right? Over here. I'm gonna select all of them and let's go. Hi. Do 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 do. Oh. Hey, Mr. Owl! Thanks for the bits. Oh my goodness, are you gonna make the bits explosion? Oh yeah. He shoots. He scores. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the bits. We wouldn't be able to be broadcasting without you. No, oh, them bits. Oh, here's the bridge. Oh, wait, wait. Do you have to go around? Yeah, we have to go around. Oh, okay, we're going around. Going around, going around. Sorry, I can't. No, you can't. Sorry, I can't. Yeah, you can. Hey, oh, ah, okay. Poses a little threat to small boats, let alone bridges like this one. The magic that split. Wait, can't do that. This bridge must have been quite. Okay, wait. Oh, where am I going? We're going around. We're going around town. We're going around town. Interesting. Oh, no, 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 oh, ouch. No, no, stop going. No, stop running. You need to help your friend. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. These evil people. I got it. All right, do it. Uh-huh, 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 you listening to me? out, you little shit. Yeah, you little shit. I like the cursing in this game, it's fun. Uh, ow! Yeah. Oh! Someone stitch me up. Oh, ow. Oh, you, oh no, no, he's, he's not dead yet. Alright, there we go. Shock yes. to the heart, you know it's too late. Oh, you come back here. Alright, sorry. Got some songs sick of my head. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, who are you? Oh, very well. You're helping us. Oh, no, 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 no! What? Who the hell are you? <clears throat> Let's see. What have I not done yet? <clears throat> you there. And you, signaling her warriors to the bridge. A woman in the regalia of a Vendrian guard captain pierces the commotion with her shrill soprano. Um, I'm gonna do a different kind of southern voice. One more like the kind you find in Florida that sounds like molasses, you know what I mean? Anyways. Get over here. The disfavored are back. Guess they forgot a javelin or two. Be it all, would you? Hurry them back. Valley girl! Oh, dude, I should do the valley. Okay, alright. I uh, That's actually a better suggestion. I'll do that one instead. <clears throat> um... Uh, wait, not another disfavor. This is a uh, fate minder, and I like real California avocados. Just saying. Uh, she looks you up and down. Uh, I would have uh, expected, well, just more soldiers here to convince us to kneel down and lose our heads. Um, all right, so how would I talk to a valid girl who is guarding a bridge? Uh, change requires bloodshed, but hopefully, this war will end soon. I love that. Yep. I, I would say number three. Number three. All right. Um, it's fine. Victorious. Hey, Twitch two hundred four one five. Thanks for following us at Hyper RPG and welcome to the Thumper family. Thumpers, you know what to do. Give them a nice, warm Thumper welcome. 
it's fine. Just victorious pillagers say all sorts of things to justify their spears into like nations and raping their way into the family vines. You don't like shit like that. Uh, she waves her hands at you dismissively. It's so funny, like when you take on the voice of like a certain stereotype, how much that character embodies that stereotype. Is that happening for you guys? It's happening for me. <clears throat> You're cute for taking your role so seriously. Your friends seem like to have misplaced most of their squad. Guess they're like somewhere in a river. Oh. My family's been protecting this river for like six generations and it's easy to look track of all the looters and vagrants we've had to feed to the eels. Maybe unless you want to try a leap over, you're stuck. Maybe try heading downstream to Placid Crossing. We have more warriors there, and I'm certain they'd just be like as happy to kill you. Um, let us across, and we'll grant you mercy. The Tidecaster did this, same one that met for a truce. Lower the bridge and surrender. No, um, maybe, uh, I don't know. One and three are kind of the same. Uh, I don't know. Number two is the kind of different one. Uh, trying to take stock of our crew. <laughs> oh, she <laughs> laughs like <laughs> this. <laughs> well, we've had expected help of late. Kill and rape a realm enough. And everyone comes out of the woodwork to shiv you in the air. Um, so I guess it's either one or three, but they're kind of the same. Um, let us across, and we will grant you mercy. I guess we're try. Or, uh, all right. Hold your oars a second. I have a statement prepared from Captain Ari for just this moment. She reaches under her belt and, with an impish smile, pulls her hand out to reveal nothing but the local hand gesture for Dick. Wait, there's a second missive here somewhere. She feigns scouring her pockets once more before displaying her phallic gesture again. So she totally just flipped you off. That's pretty awesome. I really like her. Uh, as amusing as I find this soon to be corpse, it would appear that our distraction has paid off. He nods off to the west. Oh, good. Uh, satisfied, she turns to leave, calling out to you as she does. I wouldn't keep standing there, fate bender. The river's currents are quite unpredictable. Um, that was a good suggestion, Valley Girl. Uh, let's see. Uh, report back to Bitter Quip. Alright, so we just gotta go back down to here. Okay. Wait, did that dick joke just happen? Yeah, it just happened. There'd be some dick jokes in here. Love you, Malika, but while wow, that's an irritating accent. I think that's the point, right? It's like somebody who had, oh, and then there's like, well, first there was the Valley Girl of like the 80s and 90s, and now there's this, um, like vocal fry. Uh, Alright, okay. Let's see. Hold on. Can't Wh do that. Where is, uh, Bitter Quip? Oh, he's over here. Oh, no, here we go. One of my favorite characters. <coughs> All right. Psh. Do you see how all these characters, they just kind of point, yes, and you, and you, and you, and you at home. Uh, well done. While you were toying with the Oathbreakers, my gang had the opportunity to set a rope on the collapsed bridge. Over yonder, the Furies want to join you in battle. Uh, what's the plan now, I guess? Plan now is to lower the bridge. Oh, wait, Antio. <clears throat> I think he's still hurt. Plan now is to lower the bridge. <sighs> My warriors can't swim in their armor. <sighs> the lighter troops <sighs> can move across the rope, then lower the bridge. <sighs> we'll meet you on the other side. Uh, it's the accent we all want to believe that hipsters sound like. But mm, I don't know what all hipsters sound like. They all have the same singing voice, but that's just my opinion. Crossing my rope, are we? Barrett clears his throat and shifts his weight awkwardly. In that case, I might recommend I go last. <clears throat> For once, I agree with Antio. <clears throat> my gang's been spotted. Go now, before they're overwhelmed. Okay, uh... 
across the river at the western bridge. So I guess it's this one over here. Right? Oh, oh, is it here? Wait, wait, wait. I need the other two. Oh, they're all coming too. Okay, go. Okay. Uh, can't do that. We can't do that. Okay. Is it this bridge? Can't go through that bridge either. Hmm. Aww. Thanks for watching Malika Vision. Yeah, Vanquished is a lot of fun. What did you guys think of that finale last night? Okay, wait. Sorry, how I do can't. we? How do we get across? Sorry, I can't. You can't. Wait, you need to go. Can't do that. You need to climb the rope. All right. Yes. Oh, I wanted to watch them climb. All right. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Oh no, come dead. at me, grave meat. Oh, Learn come at me. Oh, somebody leveled up! Nice! It's that time. Dude, we should have, um... Hey, Thumbers, we should have something like, you know, like, it's time to fight. It should be like, you know... Um... Like, it's clobbering time, you know what I mean? Like, we should have, like, a call to action. You guys have any suggestions? Oh, thumpers. Uh -huh. rooted. No, we'll do. For the queen! <clears throat> oh, got dark all of a sudden. Oh, uh, the first time you saw... you s Wait, what happened right. to me? Hi. Dude, I have to revive myself here. Stand tall, feet by Um, or water. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god, your main's name is Hillary Clinton. That's right, for every, uh... Uh, somebody donated so that I would try to use the Hillary Clinton voice, except for I—I I guess I haven't been as well uh, much. And um, and for ten dollars, you can rename NPCs in the game. Yeah. I will aid. Get wrecked. It's lumping time. That sounds too much like one letter away from something else. So, I asked the chat room that, like, when it's time to, like, do combat, you should have something like, you know, it's clobbering time, or, or right? And somebody said I it's something time, but it, it is like, <laughs> one letter very close from something else, you know? Yeah, it's pretty close. Yeah. Which might make it more It's fun. time for you to go down the rabbit hole. Yeah. And, and I am disappointed. I know, okay, all right. Oh, wait, we gotta kill this person. Dude, two of my other people are dead. Hey, Mr. Owl, thanks for the bits. Oh my goodness. Is that gonna make the bits explode? I'll do it for the north. Oh, yeah, bit explosion, bit explosion. Thank you. Thank you, Team Pantsuit Nation. <laughs> Graven Ash protects. Let's go for I will it. Aid you. Oh, shit! Acid rain! Wow. Okay, where 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 are my comrades here? Wait, here we go. Just point me in the right direction. No, oh okay, they're resting up. That's cool that they just kinda regenerate health there. So I guess after we're out of combat they can um kinda do better. Fluffy thumping time? It's fluffy thumping time. I don't know. There's, there's, some, there's something there. I'm pretty much sold on this. The system looks great. Good combat and is better than what I fear. Yeah, for sure. This is a... It's a good... Oh, let's get... Yeah, take all. Take all. It's... Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Did you also watch yu gi -Oh! when you were a kid? Will do. do. Tyros's butchers have come! Flee! Maybe there's something about hopping. Like, thanks for hopping into the chat room. <clears throat> Retreat! There's too many! They've crossed the river! Pull back! I'm so glad this character came back. The veteran guard soldiers rush forward and adopt a close formation, covering Captain Mitani as she retreats towards the nearby settlement. 
Uh, hold, I wish to talk to you, annoying valley girl. Oh, uh, no. Look at that, future corpse. Uh-oh. Right. <laughs> On it. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. right. Get wrecked. <laughs> right. Get up, damn you! <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I died already. Uh -oh. I need to use some heals or something. I will aid you. Uh. I will aid you. Uh oh. I, I'm, 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 maybe I should like. I'm going down. Oh yeah, I died. That was bad. That that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Uh, what is the latest? Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go. That was bad. Yeah. Oh, I like rabbit feet. Maybe there's something about rabbit feet because we need luck to, you know, go through combat. Oh, dude, how far back did I go? Like half an hour. Shoot. Right. All right. Okay. Where Where's my missions and stuff? Oh, uh, okay. We already did this. Um, uh, maybe we should try a different route since we died and went back like half an hour. So I need those furies on point. Don't mock my strategy. After working it, we could take it. Then. Uh, this is a disaster. So I'm gonna try something. Let's try to go a different route this time. Fate binder. Where were? <coughs> where were you earlier? You could have stopped this colon mite from deviating from the plan. Rabbit foot stall. That's pretty funny. May your feet always be attached to your ankles. My gang serves at my pleasure, not yours, and your plan failed to please. <clears throat> you two, quit your moaning! We tried their rush to the western bridge, blow for blow. We had them running, but... Halfway across. Halfway across the whole damn river just. Alright, let's just, you know, we already kind of read through this, so I'm gonna try to skip through it real fast. Uh, okay, gain favor with the disfavored. Mm hmm. Alright. Oh, I jump in and a random Malika is playing. I, this is not a random Malika. I, Will know, do. I, uh, play video games on Tuesday mornings. This is Tyranny, a brand new game. Hasn't even come out that? yet. We got it like two days oh, early. Oh, 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 ouch, ouch, ouch. We need to not, don't stand on the traps. Don't stand on the traps. Move. Thank you. Okay. Why are you not doing anything? There you go. It's a scheduled Malika. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Alright. You gotta take all the things. Take all the things. Take all the things. Take all the things. I killed you. Now I take all the things. Dude. I keep taking all the things, but am I equipping the things? Can we see? How do you equip the things? Let's see, I got some instructions here. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's a lot of instructions on how to play this game. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, shoot, I'm stupid. Why don't I use stealth mode? Left out on your keyboard. Oh, oh, okay. Next time I'm gonna sneak by those guys. That dumb. Don't just rush into battle. Use your brain. Alright, let's just hang out here and wait for uh, Hillary Clinton to heal up here. Hey, I have a question, Ryan. I've been taking all the things after I What's kill that? people. Yeah. How am is it equipped? It's probably, uh, have you Auto looked done. in your inventory? Oh, yes. Oh. Maybe I should put these legs on. Yeah, put those legs on. Forty. Oh, this is 
Yeah, there's some better legs. Okay, maybe I those legs didn't fit. Wait, nope, nope, yep, yeah, okay. No, don't, oh, what? Oh, cool, you can equip all of them. Okay, cool. I guess I'm just wearing everything I got already. Okay. Definitely morning for gamers. <clears throat> no, it's the afternoon. Okay. Have we healed us up yet? Okay, so let I'll be your shadow. Oh, this is awesome. So st okay, all right. Okay. I think we just need to go here. This Okay, cool. I'm gonna sneak sneak around. Just a reminder guys, in about five minutes we're gonna do a little changeover and the gauntlet with our marauders from TFA are gonna be showing up, so make sure you watch the gauntlet. <clears throat> you there and you. Get over here. The disfavored are back. Guess they forgot a javelin or two. Be a doll, would you hurl them back? Uh, wait, another disfavor. This is a fate binder. Oh lord. I would have expected, well, just more soldiers here to convince us to kneel down and lose our heads. Alright, let's go for the lore this time. Uh, I am honored and trust that all grievances wash downstream. May the river guide you through the valley. Your friends seem to have misplaced most of their squad. Guess there's somewhere in my river. My family's been protecting this river for generations, so it's easier to lose track of all the looters and vagrants. Dude, is she gonna give us the dick signal again? Unless we want to try a running leap over in your stack. Maybe just uh, heading downstream to Placid Crossing. We'll have more warriors there, and I'm certain they'll be just as happy to kill you. Alright, uh... I didn't do this one last time. Hold your oars a second. I have a statement prepared from the captain Ari for just this moment. And then she gives you the dick finger. Twice. Uh, and then the reverse currents are quite unpredictable. And she runs off. And then we have to go all the way back to um, here, I guess. Do 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 do. Spoilers for anyone who might want to play this game, maybe. Yeah, uh, but there are so many branches to this game. I feel like it wouldn't ruin the whole game for you to just watch this stream. Okay. Where are you guys? Oh, here you are. We're gonna talk to this guy again. And this time, not get killed. Oh, uh, good work. You can as All right. All right, we're gonna go, and this time we're gonna be sneaky about it, okay? Okay. I like the wine and quality you're adding to the valley voice. Moika, thank you. Thank you. I tried. She's annoying. She's not on our side. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna cross the bridge and then we're gonna go sneaky. Okay. Okay. Time Time to lighten my step. Oh, time to lighten your step. Cool. Shh. Let's just sneak past them. Oh dude, I I probably don't even have to engage. Actually, Oh shoot! You will fall before us. Oh no! Right, the queen. Malika, why are you playing this game with wine? It's definitely wine time. I don't know, but if anybody right. wants to send me some wine, I would gladly drink it on stream. Oh, okay, cool. Will do. Right. I, I think I'm doing a lot better now. Right. That I sneaked up on them and stuff. Bleed out, you little shit! Hey, Trogast, that's free stuff for the last three months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Thank you for subbing to Hyper RPG. You are why this channel can keep doing what it does. Okay, I'm just gonna wrap up this battle and decapitate this guy. Yeah! Take my rabbit foot to your mouth. I don't know. Will I get a new rank now too? Yes, that's right. For every uh, month you resub to Hyper RPG, you get promoted in the ranks. Uh, all right, cool. We won that. I wonder if I can save here. Can I save? Save game. Save game. Save. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't go away. We are going to come back with the gauntlet. That is Pathfinder meets American Gladiator with a lot, a lot of fun stuff. Who will take home the gold? Stay tuned, guys. And thanks. For